Nepent is here. Do da. Do da. What's up, guys? Nepent is here. We do da. Hey, hey, do. How's it going, guys? Oh, crap. I forgot. Guys, I forgot. I've actually got to do some evolutions real quick. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish them. I need to get four assists with Cedric in one squad battles game. I need to get four assists with Tommy Asu in a win. Two games played with Tommy Asu. And four, I'm not going to be able to finish Tommy Asu. Damn, he was the better one as well. Well, RIP. RIP. Yeah, I've, 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 I've heard murmurs and rumours that uh, King Kai is the SBC and his card looks ridiculous. I can't believe I've forgotten these things, man. Right, let me do, let me do Cedric first. Crying out loud. What a... What a mistake. Am I hyped up? Sure. Sure. Hype, hype. <laughs> I literally don't have enough time to get it, all of it done. I need four assists with uh, Cedric. Yeah, it's not even just three playstyle pluses. It's the fact that he's got three banging playstyle pluses. Um, finesse shot plus. Technical plus and ping pass plus. I presume he'll be like four star, five star, or five star, five star. Um, and then, so long as his in-game stats are good, oh, he could be so good. Very professional overlay. Well, the weather Thanks. forecasters promised us an agreeable really day for football. Somebody made it for exactly me, or got. somebody just made it as a as a a thing that anyone can download. I'm Derek Ray on the Whatever his SBC cost is, I don't care. I'll, I'll be doing it. We'll be getting done straight away. If he comes out today as well, that'd be... You know what? It would be good, but also it would be bad, wouldn't it? Because it means I won't even get his card evoed before he's already not relevant anymore. I have uh, made some investments as well for a potential uh, leak. Um, team of the season live different to normal team of the season yes the team of the season live live cards are exactly what they sound like they're live but they're upgradable um they will get one upgrade if the club that they come from wins two of the next four games and another upgrade if the club scores eight goals in the next four games Wait, Vieira team of the year, SBC's coming? Nah. My Arsenal team might actually be crazy. Four. It was four assists I needed, wasn't it? I can't believe, I, guys, I've literally been, do you know what I've been doing like most of the day? I mean, I've, I've, I've got up, took the kids to school, um, to sort my so rare lineup, stuff like that. And then I've kind of just been like moseying around for the last couple of hours, sorted the hot tub out for the kids for this weekend, you know, cleaned it out, filled it up and stuff. But yeah, just kind of been doing a little bit of like not a lot. And I'm like, crap, I can get Cedric finished. That's fine. I'm not going to be able to get Tommy Asu finished unless I get rage quits in rivals. But because I'm in the elite division, that's not going to happen because I'm elite. Arsenal been fed well this year. Apart from attackers, actually. Like, we don't have any... Like, like okay, the, the Ian Wright icons were nice. Um, but we don't actually have, like, an elite-level attacker. Like, even the Henri Thunderstruck. Maybe the Henri uh, birthday card is decent. But even the Henri Thunderstruck just isn't... Like, I, like I, I wouldn't call it, like, great anymore. Attackers for birthday is good. I do, I do want to use Team of the Season to almost, like, reignite the Arsenal Evo RTG. I just want to get all Arsenal things. I've invested, as I say, I've invested, like, 600,000 coins that I had. Uh, hopefully, I should make around four or 500,000 coins off the back of it. That'll give me 1.1 milli. Um, 
which will be nice. My first time being Elite Division FIFA EA24. Yeah, it is, yeah. I, I knew as well, I knew what the comments were going to be in yesterday's video, right? Like, Division 1 was quite easy, right? Um, I got myself up to having to just get two wins to get into the Elite Division, and Vipes wanted to uh, co-op. And already in the back of my head, I knew what was coming. Like, And the thing that was coming was, oh, I had to get carried to Elite. And it's like, okay, actually took a lo lot longer with Vipes than if I'd just done it myself. But the reason why I chose to do it with Viper was because I wanted to get the video out for yesterday and I wanted to get into Elite for the video. And I'm like, I wouldn't have, uh, I would have probably just done it later at night by myself. Um, so, good news is, do we know that Havertz is going to be an SBC? My sources tell me that, Josh, yeah. Uh, the good news is, I'll get relegated on Thursday down to Division 1 again. So, I'll be able to push myself back up into the Elite Division uh, next Thursday without any without any assistance. Um, but even even so, so, somebody else said as well, like the elite, like even getting to elite now is just so easy because two weeks ago, apparently there was 30,000 people in elite and now there's like 170,000 people. I don't think people understand how many people 170,000 is active in the top division. That is a lot of people because you have to keep in mind at the start of the season, nobody was in the elite division because everybody gets relegated down to division one, right? Everybody. Um, which means in the last four or five weeks, 150,000 people have got themselves into the elite division. And then it makes me think, how many more people are in division one? How many are in division two, three, four, five? Like, there's literally, like, millions of people playing this game. DDA Drogba. Now, options are plenty. Oh, great attacking play. Oh. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at you the You have over 50% win rate. You'll be elite eventually, since you can't be relegated. True. And also, yeah, that's what I'm saying, Josh. Like, that, do you know that that logic? I know it's weird because it doesn't make like now sense like this. That. But that logic's always been interesting to me. Is like EA boasted like 40 million daily active users a couple of years ago, and I thought, how is it that like the biggest FIFA creators then get about like hundred thousand, two hundred thousand views? Surely these guys are like looking for content. Okay. Money prevented it from going over the line. William Saliba. Where are these numbers coming from? How many total are playing the others? Well, in the elite division, it gives you your approximate rank and your percentage. And so, just off of that, you can Rolfe. decipher how many people there are. Timber. Now we're into the final half hour. He and his new... Oh, the, the the 40 million active users was something from the EA literally posted themselves. I can't, I can't remember where or what about or anything, but it was in some publication. Down to about four lineups. I actually have a chance this weekend. Yeah, my lineups are bad this weekend as well. As I was building them, I'm like, my AAA is a guys where I'm like, okay, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even consider him as a good player. You have like 80 quid now. I think you get some serious cards for 80 quid. I remember playing FIFA 20 for three years because I didn't have any money to buy the most recent Timber. FIFA. Now I work for Nike and get given a free copy every year. Oh, is that right, Sags? GG's, mate. And here's I am excited. <laughs> like, I, I, I like the look of that new Havertz card. Uh, Ty Buddha, thanks for the three months, man. Just got my Tavernier up to 91 now. GG's, mate. I like the look of that Kai Havertz card. But if he is the SBC and if he comes today, Havertz. it's actually going to be quite sad because I'm not even going to get to use the Evo Havertz. I, I thought at least I'd be able to like use him for a bit until I got Havertz. You know, I thought Havertz would be impact or something, but... If he's an SBC, I'm just going to have him straight away. Yeah, he had yeah crazy stats. 94 pace. His shooting was a bit low, like 83 shooting. But that really depends. Because he's got finesse shot plus, it depends on his uh, long shots, shot power and finishing more than anything. If he's got like low penalties, low volleys, um, I couldn't really care less. Like so long as the others are in like the mid to high 80s. Then he had like 92 or 93 defending and... Uh, sorry... Yeah, 92, 91, 92, or 93 for passing, dribbling, and defending. And then, like, 89 physical. He's, li he's literally going to be insane. He's literally going to be insane. 
Rolfe. Kai Havertz. You don't think you'll have left back option? And here's Rosicki. If I get rage quits, I can do Tommy Asu in time, but I, I just don't think I will. I don't even need to win the games. I just need to get in the game and to have the... Like, I, I wouldn't mind people just like backing out a nil-nil. such an eye-catching series of passes. Tomasz Rosicki. He should be 83, shooting 94. He's not that fast in real life, in my opinion. Well, these team of the season cards are not representative to anybody's like actual real life capabilities. Rosicki. By the end of week three, he probably won't be the starter in your team, at which point the left back, back he might be back on the menu. Maybe, but depending on how many Arsenal players we get over the next few weeks, I would really like to build a proper Arsenal team. Like, like this team that I use right here, I like it so much because of like certain aspects of it. So, yeah, who knows? Cold Train, thanks for the 14 months, man. Thoughts on putting all high-rated fodder cards that have been used into the exchange? Yeah, I did it all yesterday, but the exchange is coming back anyway, so apparently it's coming back exactly the same. Right, that is, uh, that is him done. Cedric. Now we've got Tommy Asu. Just need to win a game and assist four goals with Tommy Asu, first of all. We'll get that first upgrade. If we have Vieira, Rice, Odegaard, you could be better off with a left back. Havertz could be, yeah. I will definitely be able to get two tabs of Tommy Asu done. It just might be the third one that misses out. That Doku. Does Doku look good, does he? Hold on, let me... Uh... Get in here. Give me four assists with Tommy Asu. Tommy Asu. 99 pace, 95 dribbling, most likely 95 skills. Bruno Fernandes looks insane because if he gets the two upgrades, which, let's be real, he, he, he definitely can, he'll be a 96 rated with, like, and that's the thing that I, we didn't, I didn't even consider about Kai Havertz. If that Kai gets a plus two as well, oh my days. It's a shame that he's the only Arsenal player in the, the live the live section. What's exactly coming tonight? Uh, team of the season live is tonight, mate. Cappy has two now playstyle pluses. So not every team in the season is going to have three playstyle pluses. That's sad. Could be threatening. I'm yelling timber. What's the point? Uh, like, maybe to allow for Evos? Like, maybe there will be a team of the season Evo that has, you know, a plus two overall, but maximum two playstyle pluses. Like... I saw uh, one of the leaks as well is that we're getting daily Evos. So I'm excited about that. I know they haven't fixed the uh, the Evo issue yet with like restarting Evos, but it would be so nice to actually restart. It'd be so nice to actually restart some Evos for me now. I will be ripping all my packs. Like the exchange is coming back, guys, right? So you, you are not going to struggle to get packs. Look how he, like, like, I've been saving packs for, like, literally, like, three days, and I have almost 100 high-level packs. It is so, so, so easy to get packs. I would not be saving them personally. You save by going to a rivals match at the same time before you select custom kit. Press P's button to show you who you have matched before you enter the game. Yeah, that might that'd be good for like one one extra game, but then I don't think I'll be able to match him again. 
But do I need? I need. I think I only need four assists. Uh, JR Little Child, thanks to the Prime Baby and Big Smithy G. Thanks to the two months, man. Much appreciate, brother. We have 12 85 plus player picks. So I've still got to do the 85 plus player picks. I've done the uh, 83 by 10s today. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got the fodder already for the 85 plus player picks. I just haven't actually uh, done them yet. I'll, I'll wait till about like half past five to do them. And then I'll go on to the other account as well and complete everything on there too. To get ready. What am I working on? Tommy Asu Evo at the moment. It expires in one and a half hours. I'm not going to be able to finish it. Because I've got to do... I've got to play six... Rivals games amongst getting okay. wins and assists and goals. Um, and so it's it's literally going to be impossible. So I'm, I'll, I'll take a look at what the next tab offers. It does mean that I'll have a Tommy Asu that won't have a Playstyle Plus and will be like reasonably decent, which might help with fitting him into another Evo somewhere else. Um, but yeah, a bit, bit of a waste because I think these were 100,000 coins, these ones as well, weren't they? The fullback ones. So I've literally wasted. 100k. Slightly worried on Zobo. The reason why I think it'll be alright, Josh, because that team of the season will be mad expensive. So people will go for the uh, go for the Evo, and that Evo looks almost identical to the team of the season. Obviously, it's just that the team of the season is live. But I, I, I put most of my investments into the uh, informed Matthew Squinia anyway. If they continue to play at this pace for the rest of the game, who knows how many they could score? Did everyone get a free Alexandro card? I hope I hope I will because I did the the SBC and got Caputo by mistake. Timber. I'm raising like 10k before I could pick them up. I I only paid like 20 22k or so for each each one. What's he at now? Mate, if he goes extinct at like 60k, be banging. Am I finally? I haven't I haven't actually played any games in it yet. Yeah, he said the compensation has been sent out. I, I should have it then. Yeah, 35 k ready. Let's go. Back in business here then, and the Terry. I didn't send out Caputo yet. Just Sandro. Sandro is the one I don't have. Caputo is the one that I got. But I only did one of the SBCs because obviously I did the cheaper one. To get the wrong player, knowing that I'd get given the right player as compensation. The founders have the ball once more. Yuri and Timber. Timber. An effective challenge. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Well, Havertz is supposedly coming as the SBC. Have I done the daily on both accounts? No, I gave up on the daily stuff on the uh, main account. Always kept forgetting to do it, so. William Saliba. Mate, that Havertz as an SBC is going to be, like, he's going to be expensive. You did Caputo for the 85 team and got Sandro. Oh, that's what I did then. So I've already got Sandro. I don't have Caputo then. And on to Gino La. You have an extra final. I think I've missed like three days, mate. But I'll have a look. We'll go on to the uh, main account Timber. shortly. Add on to Rosicki. Timber. Joe Brenner, thanks for the prime, brother. Three Much Dino. appreciado. And here's Saliba. Is tonight at the start of three playstyle plus? It is indeed, mate. Yeah. Timber. It is indeed. Do you think they make these mistakes on purpose of people talking about Twitter for free marketing? No. Yuri and Timber. And here's Saliba. I, w I was hoping that Havertz would have Aerial Plus because then I would just play him as a striker. William Saliba. How much do I think the SPC will be? I think it'll be mad expensive, man, because his stats are crazy good and he's upgradable. Um, I, I, I honestly think it'll be like a 12 to 16 segment card, two or three eighty, maybe even two or three nineties with Team of the Season here now. Um... A whole bunch of 89s and 88s, and then your standard 87s and whatnot. Yuri and Timber. Now 
83 shooting, no. Well, first of all, that could be upgraded, so that's not a problem. Uh, but second of all, it depends on what the shooting is, because he could have 83 shooting because he has, like, 70 penalties and, you know, 70 volleys, but has, like, 90 finishing, 90 shot power, 90 long shots, and, like, 95 attack positioning. So it really depends on what they've done for his in-game stats as to how good that shooting is. If his shooting is just generally quite balanced and it's in the kind of like low 80s range across the board, then yeah, his shooting is going to be a bit of a problem. Um, but because he's got finesse shot plus, you pop a dead eye on him. And uh, and that, that fixes all of that, doesn't it? Yeah, that Bruno looks crazy. Yeah, he looks crazy. Timber. Wolves and Chelsea, not bad games for upgrades either. Who, who else have we got during the four-game stint? Wolves, Chelsea. I uh, can't remember who else it is, but... Timber. Yeah, it would, it would be nice. Like even, even though Chelsea are like a dangerous team now, I reckon we could score like five or six of the eight goals against Wolves and Chelsea. Tomasz Rosicki. And here's Saliba. Good to see the red team of the season loading screen. That's been there for a couple of days, mate. Timber. So, yeah. Now Spurs and Bournemouth. Okay, so the goals I think we'll be absolutely we'll calm with. Saliba. The wins I think we'll be absolutely calm with. Uh, it's just how Rosicki. quickly it comes, you know. It does, is, is it going to take two or three weeks to get it or are we going to get there in the first like? Because we obviously Arsenal have got a game this weekend against Wolves and then midweek against Chelsea. So, in theory, we could have the 94 Kai Havertz by middle of this, like next week. Timber. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a... Well, it was a very uh, we will do share plays today, um, but it will be for bigger packs, guys, right? Like 85 by 10s, 84 by 20s, 84 by 10s, things like that. Uh, Nails, thanks for the prime, brother. The 85 plus player picks would be good to share play as well. We will do share plays today for for an hour or so. Um, but yeah, it won't be, uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'm not personally interested in sitting there watching people's like 82 by 2s and things like that. I want, to, I want to see some tots, you know. And we'll see what store packs are there as well. If there's another good store pack to buy of coins, it could be quite interesting. So for this Tomiyasu now, guys, as I said, like, I've got I've got two choices. I can I can go and get this tab done. Play two games is easy. Win two and win two by three goals. I might have to do that on squad battles, which will be another 20 minutes of squad battles and probably like 30 to 40 minutes of rivals. That's an hour. That takes us to 5.30. I'm not going to get the play four, win two, and uh, assist four in which means we're going to miss out on some stuff. This will still get him to four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot, um, and no play-star pluses. So he will still be eligible for, like, some nice Evos. We've got all the fodder back on the shitters. That's nice. Um, so I suppose let's, uh, let's go grab ourselves some elite rivals. Obviously, it'd be ideal if we did get like a cheeky little rage quit or something like that here. If anyone wants to snipe me and you don't even have to like give me the win, you can just back out. Nails, thanks for the prime, man. Opening all my packs today. We'll, we'll, we'll begin. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just going to be efficient with it, mate. We get duplicate high rated back into the exchange, building the player picks, so on and so forth, you know. going to go 29 to get Kai Havertz. Apparently, he's the, uh, he's the SBC, mate, so. Stewart, what are you expecting to see? Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set. Two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, the cross needed to be better than that one. And here's the starting lineup for the founders. Petr Cech stands Dirty, between the posts. Dirty. Tomasz Rosicki starts with Davi Ginola in the center of midfield. And higher up, DDA Drogba plays with... If Edward we get Team of the Year Vieira SPC as well. Oof. 
Although, if we get Team of the Year, SBC Vieira, that will scream to me. But EA don't necessarily think he's like a great player. Oh, I did a stop and turn there. Oh, Derek, what a moment this could be. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition <coughs> have any scraps. Johan Cruyff. And quick thinking defensively. Fridolina Rolfe. Drogba. A foul, but advantage played. And Kessia. Oh, Jamie Bond. Defending. Park Ji Sung. Now, Cruyff. And it's played into the center. So Literally pressed dangerous. pause at kickoff. With 15 and minutes in, I still haven't managed to get Tommy Asso off the field. Tomas Rosicki. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Park. Oh, that's a really I've read good that. run. Alonso. On to Roberto Carlos. And back with Vieira. Now Roberto Carlos. He has time to play it over. Vieira. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. What an awful, awful pop that was from Dogba. That last foul him. No, I'm not going to like do something dumb just to get a... Oh, I don't have Cafu on the uh, on the bench, All right? Good challenge and a throw in coming up. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Patrick Vieira. Saul Campbell. Drogba has it. Hadji. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. On to Cole. Park. And he's beaten him here. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Happy to try and match. Um, listen, if somebody wants to stream snipe me and just give me a 3 0 win, I'd, I'd be all about it, honestly. David Ginola. But not the end of the world. This looks promising from the founders. It's foul. Thank you. Oh, and the decision is penalty. A big chance for them to take the lead here. And to add insult to injury, it's a booking, Stuart. Well, I agree with the penalty. I'm not quite so sure about the yellow card, though. We gritty. We gritty. Come on, get him to go. Come on, get him to go. Come on, pal. Off your pop. Although I could do with a 3 0 win to there. Back underway. 1 0 it is. And nicely over the top. Ginola. And tidy defensive play. Drogba. He cuts it back. Oh, <sighs> a back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. Really going to make him sit up in his chair. I was hoping that even if he, like, I was hoping that even if he equalised after our gritty, he'd just quit. You know, didn't want that kind of toxic noise, you know. Why gritty and being to Oh, wait, what's wrong with celebrating? What's wrong with doing a celebration, man? I thought celebrating was just a part of football. Timber. Now you're out here telling me I can't celebrate, but I'm not allowed to get upset when my opponent celebrates? Come on, bros. you got to be a little bit more uh, consistent, haven't you? David Ginola. 
Drogba. Now this could be productive. I'll press pause. I'll press pause. I'll press pause. What it mattered. Let it go out. Let it go out. We're just two, yeah, we're just two guys that love watching our sellies. Nothing wrong with that. There is everything wrong with that passing, though. We're using the space really well. I'm yelling timber. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Out of line? Wait, what's out of line? Delivering it. Oh, he's got it. He's missed it. And I'll tell you what, that looked like a certain goal. Had to be a goal. Well, you think it's out of line that I watched a celebration? He's... Well, they've lost the ball. Well, this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? And say so Qatar. Ain't nobody better. Yep, that was where I aimed that pass. Give you all that. Good ball over the top. Rositsky. Deciding to go inside. Keeping it moving dynamically. Can he play it in? Or not? Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. No, no, I was talking about myself. I wasn't calling you out of line. Wait, wait, why was you out? Uh, Tom Degg, thanks for the 12 months, man. It's been a very tough, even game. One hour to go. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. A foul game. That is not a free referee. kick. That's crazy. I literally read the move, waited, pressed tackle on the outside. Cordoba. Outrageously skillful, but no damage done. That's the main thing. David Ginola. Well, Johan Cruyff does enjoy stamping his mark on a game, and that's exactly what he did in the first half. Stuart, your assessment. Electing to cross into no. the centre. Well, that's a good ball in as well. Like Just didn't get the right header on it. Nice switch of play. Park. I must say, this looks promising. Can they forge ahead? Lol. Imagine red timing that. What a tramp. And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driver's seat there. <coughs> what a tramp. What's up, Mr. McMikey Pout? Timber. Ashley Cole. And pressing from the front. Yuri and Timber. High pressing. Was a dumb pass, wasn't it? That was a dumb pass. That was a dumb pass. Thought I could get it through the gap, but not with a centre back. Maybe with a passer or a midfielder or somebody with ping pass, but not with a centre back. It's on the wrong side of the play. He's trying to pass it to. It's intercepted, and it's a good finish. Yes, of course it is, but it's not good defending all round. And Kessia. Well, far from the ideal pass. And Founders pushing forward with options available. What a commitment oh, had to that. defending. Untidy on the ball. What is that a for a ball? I suppose it's Nketiah. Cafu. Roberto Carlos. Saul Campbell. 
Now Roberto Carlos. Park Ji Sung. Haji. And very nicely positioned to win it back. Fridolina Rolfe. And the founders moving the ball forward with purpose. And a good looking ball. No, oh, come on now. Covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Oh, he's so lucky. He's so lucky. Still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. And Kessia just moving back into that deeper position. Oh, nice ball over the top. That's got to be a foul game. Ow, can he keep getting away with that? Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Foul. Cole. And on to Ginola. Got the special dribbling with... David Ginola there. Last 15 minutes of action. Just doesn't. Just the challenge that was required. Didier Drogba. I was going for the pot volley again. Just switched in time. I think got a five-star skill with Ashley Cole. Didier Drogba. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Get run, Cole, then. Showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Rosicki, can they convert? He has got away with absolute fucking murder there. Drogba took the ball so heavily. Oh, it's Cafu, not Cole. Cafu. Founders moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? It Eddie, you've got to bear with that power. Finesse shot plus, brother. It was close. It was a decent effort. Other than literally gifting this guy one of his goals, we've done all right. Alonso. Cafu with it. Grave. And teammates to play it to. And it's come off the keeper. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, that would have been game over. But unless they show more quality going forward, there's just no way back for them. Well, maybe a chance for them now to alleviate the pressure. Ginola, is this the moment? Well, he tried Drugs. To everything in How have you job. missed that? Oh, fuck off, buddy. Like, because he knows, like, okay. I feel like this is a stream sniper because there's no reason to pause it here other than knowing that I want to get out of the game as quick as possible. Julie, thanks for the gifted sub to 69. Oh, I do need to sort out. I'll, I'll gift him the next month. I'll, I'll still leave it there. United, thanks for the prime, brother. That was the... Like, yeah, if he, if he pauses three times, then yeah, it's... It's just uh, this unnecessary. But couldn't find the target. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Cafu. Damn, that, I mean, that was a good, like, a competitive, tough game. I literally made one mistake to gift him the goal. And there it is, the final Other than that, I played very well there. Not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, You gritty 0-1. Wait, what's wrong with celebrating, Tom? I'm, I'm so confused why, when my opponents celebrate and I call it out, I get people tell me... That I what's wrong with celebrating? It's just a celebration. Yet when I celebrate, I get people tell me why am I celebrating? Did he sub in an Evo? I don't know, mate. Stream sniper. Okay, as expected. As expected.
You could ban that livery guy in the chat. You uh, Twitch conditions. chat, thanks, mods. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for Wait, is it the same guy? No. By my partner, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from the elite division. It's the founders versus Real. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Mia Hamm. Great. And here's the starting line. Oh, that's not a foul. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't put thingy on the bench again. Uh, hold on there. What flavor is the Arsenal Prime? I, I don't know, mate. It's actually it's actually one of the nicer ones that I've tasted. Petr Cech stands between the posts. Tomasz Rosicki starts with Davi Ginola in the center of midfield. And higher up, Didier Drogba plays with Edward and Kessia. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Great pass, keep your own stop there. And continues his run. And reading it absolutely superbly. And so the first 11 for Real. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Lota Mateus plays with Park Ji Sung out wide. And in attack today. Oh, three shots here, Derek. Come on. Yeah, we greedy up. <laughs> And Campbell looks sick. Thanks, man. Well, here it is again. He goes past these markers so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. In today's That's world, releasing an Arsenal bottle is risky. Finish, One of his. It was never in doubt. Cross could be useful. Oh, yeah, Mate, I just want, I just want him to make that run in front of the defender. He had the run in the first place. Toxic. If a celebration is toxic, brother, then maybe uh, maybe you need to take a day off the internet. Cool. Our okay. game. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. David Ginola. Can they create something from here? And nice. Eddie. 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 Good tackle. Mm. How am I getting through there, guys? Like, what am I doing to actually like come away Ronaldo. from that space with the ball? A wonderful bit of skill. Did he stay on side? No, he didn't. God. Just as he was ready to pounce. Rafael Marquez. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Mia Hamm. On to Ronaldo. Can he finish this? Able to get his body in the way. Ashley Cole. This looks promising. Mm. And a corner to the founders as they try <laughs> to increase their advantage. Playing it in. The clearance courtesy of Mateus. What a read that was. And that. Ball back with the founders now. Whoa, oh, ref. Dangerous. Rosicki. In position. Yes, did you? Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 <laughs> go. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my... F I'm verified elite now, guys. I just won an elite game. I'm verified elite.
Look at that, I'm 801 skill rating. You join at 800. Effectively the best player on earth. Right, that leaves me needing two squad battles games because I didn't win one of them by three goals. That's too bad. I think it's just going to be those two squad battles games and then I'm just not going to do the final segment because I won't I won't I just won't be able to get it done. Now I'm now an elite gamer. I am mate. Thanks, thanks. What are two easy ones? One hour to go, oh, indeed, mate. To be with you, oh. And I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. Thanks for the prime, I'm brother. Gray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's City, and they take on the founders. <laughs> well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. What do I need to do with him? Oh, I just need to... I actually don't need to get assist with Tommy Asu, do I? I need to win by three goals in two games. I don't know why I put him in at camp. I thought I had to get assist or something. But that wasn't necessary. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And threading it through. Trogba, is it going to be? And a goal! He's put it away! Or two more, and then we could just kind of focus less on it. Not reading the chat again. Read it superbly to take back possession. Opportunity it is. Ever seen the Havertz card? Oh, I have, yeah. He looks very good, mate. He looks very good. For the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. And successfully cut out. See what? Well, he could really get at the opposition, but quick thinking defensively. And he read it really well. Let me, let me ask you guys whether you think this guy deserves to be unbanned. I'll read you some of his messages, all right? What's up, guys? Nepenthe Poo Pants here. That alone is enough to, me to let me know that he needs to stay banned, all right? The very next message, two minutes later, boring, move on. Then the very next message, four minutes later, bring back Nep Returns. He had high IQ. I don't even know what that means or what that was pertaining to. But and then his last message that he eventually got banned from was Nep is a helmet nowadays. Could still be dangerous. I think that is a deserved permanent ban. Oh nice ball. In with a chance. Unban request. Says. Unban request. Hold on, that's me twice, me twice, me twice, me twice. A good and Nep, fair I've been challenge. watching for years. Yeah, I was being a Muppet, and I'm sorry for that. Would I appreciate the unban and honestly won't do that again? In future, I will chat like a normal person and not say stupid things. Much love. I hope to be in the chat again soon. Hope you and the family are well. And my answer to that is no. Rosicki. It's just no, in it? That's all. Just no. Oh, that's good piece of defending. Deny. I'm going to give you a reason why I denied you. I'm going to deny you. Unban requests are less... I like... I, I, I'm I more inclined to unban someone from an unban request if they've maybe just been having an argument or maybe, you know, they've said something to me that's very justified when I'm stressed and heated. You know, maybe like some backseat gaming or giving advice or something like that that I wouldn't, didn't ask for when I'm stressed. 
and they get banned and I'm like ban that guy and they're like oh man I was you know didn't realize I was being a dick just trying to help out I'm like yeah fa yeah fair enough like that's more my bad than yours right that's that's me kind of just being a salty little 12 year old girl and not knowing how to how to comfortably respond to somebody in that regard that's fine when you go out of your way to just be a piece of shit on purpose and then you're like oh man i won't do that again but i know you won't because i'm not i'm vanning you i'm not about that life man it there, there is never ever a reason to just be horrible towards somebody that like the only reason why is because they've done something in the first place and in this regard of like the the kind of like streamer to content to to, to view a relationship i suppose i think if the streamer does something you don't like you just leave and stop watching you know rather than think that that's an open invitation to then be toxic towards them because they did something on a video game that you didn't like um so yeah. And yeah, loads of other channels, man. Loads of other channels. Yuri and Timber. I'm yelling Timber. Guys, this week on. I've been getting up very early every morning. Take the Comes kids to school to and stuff. End. Zuvaros, thanks for the 15 months, man. Um and uh, I've been going to bed like a lot earlier. A couple of the nights I was I was asleep by like half 11, 12, but most of the nights still between like, still like 12, 31 ish. My, my eyes are tired, man. My eyes are tired. Maybe you can't see because the lights are on them. But uh, last night I had about three hours sleep. And then, no, the night before last I had about three hours sleep. And then last night I fell asleep about like 2.30. And I got up at uh, like 10 past seven this morning. Um, and my eyes are just, my eyes are tired, man. How's Mrs. Finney? Yeah, yeah, she's uh, back, back, back to being able to like drive and take the kids to school and stuff again, but she just needs help, like, putting them out in the morning and that. But now it's the weekend, she should be good again by Monday, so... Um, I don't know why you wouldn't do that routine full-time. Um, nowadays, it's actually a lot... It, it, like, yeah. Like, the one of the main reasons why I used to be online late is because, first of all, I had an audience that was conditioned to that. Right? You, you know what's mad, right? If you stream mostly evenings, let's say to 5,000 people, and then you randomly start streaming in the morning, the audience that watches you normally just aren't there. So you'll just have, you'll still have viewers, but not as not nearly as many. And so I spent a lot of my career streaming late, gaming late, playing late. You know, a, a, most of the people that I used to game with and play with were American or, or like West Coast, like, you know, Canadian like Nick. And so for me, like midnight was four o'clock in the afternoon for them or skills, you know, for me, like midnight was like five or six p.m. for him. So I used to stay up late gaming with 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 the guys, you know what I mean? And, and being in from the pub industry, I've always had a late night sleeping pattern. Like I've always been, you know, since I was 16, 17 years old, I've been going to bed at like two, three o'clock in the morning every single day of my life for years and like literally for 20 years right um then uh then i got the facebook contract and the hours there were really difficult and so i started streaming from nine till three and i started doing the morning routine with the kids then as well and that was good and all um, but what ended up happening off the back of that Facebook contract is I actually like William fractured Sanibar. friendships and relationships and stuff because Rosetsky. I stopped gaming at night Sanibar. effectively. And, uh, now with you know, the, like all the people that I used to play games with found other people to play games with. Um, and uh, so then I came back to regular, my regular times, kind of like playing games and staying awake again till like two or three o'clock in the morning. Um, and there's like some other things to do with why I go to bed late sometimes and stuff as well, but uh, for the most part, just out of natural habit. And uh, then then I started getting into the MLS, and it's like the MLS. Some of the MLS games would kick off at like three o'clock in the morning or, or like three thirty-five in the morning and stuff. And so last season during the MLS, and mostly thanks to Zorare, uh, I started. Uh, I just I started staying up watching all of the <laughs> MLS games. So I started going to bed at like seven o'clock in the morning and getting up at like one o'clock in the afternoon again. And that's also that like that's incredibly unhealthy. Like that's worse than going to bed at like three o'clock and getting up at like nine or ten o'clock. You know, um, 
But this week again, going to bed early and actually getting up early, I've just been getting way more done in my day. Like, I've I've done, I jet washed the uh, the back garden and the patio. I, I sorted out the hot tub for the kids. I changed a few door handles that we had that were like the, when we bought this house, we, we got we got stiffed a little bit by the guy that built it. It's a like brand new, brand newly built house, and uh, he cut so many corners like that you don't really you can't know that those corners were cut until you've lived in it. And one of the corners that was cut was they're just cheap door handles, like they're all just falling off. Um, and so I went and changed like a whole bunch of door handles and stuff, just little things like that. That it's like I never had the time or capability to do that um, before because, it, you know, I'd finish streaming at three o'clock in the morning and the last thing I would want to do is go and do like some DIY around the house or whatever. And then because I'd be getting up at like midday, the first, the last thing I'd want to do when I get up would be going and doing DIY stuff. I'd be like, okay, right, let me get into the office and see what I've missed for the day and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, this week being back on a getting up like like it's it's not even like seven like it's not even getting up at seven thirty that's a problem. Half of, half of my problem is is I get up even earlier. Like I end up going to sleep at like eleven o'clock. Like on Monday night I went to sleep at like eleven fifteen or eleven thirty or whatever it was. I woke up at like five forty five. That was it. I was just up. And that was it. Like I I can't go back to sleep for that point at that point. And uh and a warm welcome on what is a fine day. Yeah, I, I, I just end up getting way more done, so I might come on to this schedule. You know, I've been streaming this week from, like, 9 o'clock in the morning. Not today, because, like, you know, what, what was the point of streaming this afternoon? Like, um, But, yeah, I've been streaming this week from, like, 9 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, I, you know, yesterday I had, like, a 10-hour stream, and I still only finished streaming at, like, eight, like 7 o'clock at, at night, 8 o'clock at night. And that was banging. Because then it was like, okay, like I've, I actually felt like I've done all I need to do. What do I need to do here? Do I, do I need a 3 0 win again? I was like, yeah, I've, oh wow, what a goal. I've done all I need to do. And then I could just like relax, you know? And I end up, I, I went up to bed at 10 o'clock because I was shattered. But I didn't end up falling asleep until about 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, because it, like, God knows why I can get asleep. But. And so, yeah, and so I think, I think I'm going to absolutely go back in. Like, what, what I ideally want to do. Because I've, man, I've, I just haven't worked out properly in a long, 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 long time. And guys, I'm dreaming about it now. I'm dreaming about it. Did I get two goals for that goal? Or have I scored two goals? Hold on, I'm confused. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm literally dreaming about working out, guys. That's how much I know I need to get back into the gym. And, uh... So my plan now will be to like get up, sort the kids out, take, maybe take them to school, maybe not, then work out, and then be live for like 10, 10 30, something like that. And then stream e e either all the way through till sort of like 7 p.m. or whatever after the 6 p.m. content, or stream until like 3 o'clock and have like a morning stream, and then uh, sort the kids out from after school, see the kids, and maybe deal with whatever I have to deal with at home, and then do something. Uh, come back and stream again about five o'clock, something like that. Uh, checkmate, thanks for the 22 months, man. I'm doing all right, mate. Thank you very much. And enjoying the content as always. Six years ago, I started gymming and cardio at 6 a.m. and it's a life changer. As a multiple business owner, I could find I found I could only go on early morning or not at all. Yeah, and do you know what? I used to, I used to always work out when I first got up. Always, it was always the first thing that I would do. Like just go, go and get it out of the way, so to speak. Right? Go and go and train. Go and work out. Uh, most most of the time it's weights for me. I really don't like cardio, but go and train, go and work out, and then it's done for the day. You know, that's it, and yeah, I, I end up enjoying it, um, which is which is good. But yeah, what one of the uh, one of the kind of like I suppose weird things about this year on the game is again how many games like look look today already we've been streaming for an hour and I've been playing like squad battles for the most part to get evolutions done. That wasn't here last year. Last year. I would have been like, right, I've already got my rivals wins. I've already qualified for champs. I have nothing to do on the game. Not, oh my God, I've got to go and get like 16 games worth of squad battles and rivals in to get this, uh, this card evoed. Oh, I keep, keep scoring. 
Uh, Super Indingo, thanks for the seven months, man. With the working out, definitely doing it first helps you put it out. Then other things get in the way. You know, yeah, exactly, exactly that. And and there is there have been quite a lot of times where I'm like, right, I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and then I work out, and then something else comes up. I'm like, all right, I will work out after, and then I know I'll do it after this, and then and then I'm like, oh, I've really got to go and do this now, and I've I've really got to do that, and then you eat, and I'm like, oh, I can't can't work out straight after I eat, and then it's getting towards the evening. You're like, right, I'll work out this evening, and then before you know it, it's like, right, I'm just not doing it today, am I? Yuri and Timber. Routine sounds fine. Seeing the kids off school, exercise in the morning, just puts my mind in a great place. Hell yeah, dude. <clears throat> One thing to say it though, isn't it? The amount of times I've said to myself, like, whether it be stop eating crap, stop, you know, stop not working out. I'm like, right, next week, I'm going to work out every single day, get myself back into a good habit, good routine. Don't do it. Very easy to like say it to yourself. It's also very easy to get like caught up in like a moment. Like sometimes I'll, I'll something will come up on like my for you page somewhere, and it'll be like somebody's incredible weight loss journey. Like I actually saw this guy uh, a couple of days ago on my uh, for you page, and in 15 months he's like, oh, 15 months transformation. And, you know, sometimes you see these people do transformations and you can tell that they've already been gymming and stuff, right? Like they're just, they're bulky, they've got muscle mass, but they've let themselves go. They've got themselves a bit chubby and then their kind of progression and, and their journey is them just losing that fat and be, being shredded. And it's like, yeah, okay, like you have still done a great job for sure, but you clearly had like a lot of muscle mass in the first place. And then you, this guy that I saw a couple of days ago, he was a big boy, man. Not muscle. It was all fat. He was just a big boy. And in 15 months, man, 15 months, he got breaded and jacked and looking incredible. And I'm like, if he can lose that much weight, he, I mean, he must have lost well over 100 pounds, man. Well over 100 pounds. I'm like, if he can lose that much weight in just 15 months, I only want to lose about 10 pounds. Because I actually want to gain muscle and stuff. Like in terms of fat loss, like rather than weight loss, in terms of fat loss, I only want to lose about like 10 pounds, you know? That shouldn't take me that long. Maybe a month or six weeks of like dedicating, dedicated eating and training should be more than enough to lose 10 pounds of fat. And, and I'm like, yes. I'm like, tomorrow I'm going to start. Tomorrow I'm going to, you know, black coffee in the morning, no more milk in the coffee. And I'm like, yep, then I'm just going to eat a salad for lunch. Yep, no problem at all. Then I'm going to do, you know, going to have a nice stir fry for dinner. No snacks during the day. Going to drink just water. And then something happens again, man. Like, you know, this week, like, Laura, obviously, Lauren had surgery last week. So this week, it's, uh, it was like, well, we had a few takeaways. Um, you know, so I'll start next week. And so it's, it's, it's so easy to get caught up in that kind of moment of like seeing somebody else's success and just thinking that you're going to do it. And do you know what the thing I hate the most is, genuinely? William Saliba. Is how quick time actually passes. In the moment, it feels like an age. It feels like forever, right? But think how quick the last three months of your life has passed. And that's me. I'm like, imagine if just for the last three months... I was already doing what I wanted to do and eating healthy and things like that. Yeah, she, she's good. Thanks, Gibbo. Um, still recovering a little bit, but she's basically back to her best. Thanks. Um, but imagine uh, imagine I've already done it for three months. That three months would be over already. I'd, I'd be three months into the journey. And how quick has that last three months gone? How quick has this FIFA game cycle gone? What like and I'm like the thought of like doing something tough or grueling for a month or six weeks or eight weeks I'm like man that's gonna be so hard then you're six weeks down the line and you're like oh shit I could have done that well easy you know never too late oh no hundred percent listen I'm it's, I'm not in like bad shape or anything right I I just I really enjoy like you know what I enjoy the feeling of this is gonna sound weird I enjoy the feeling of like um the lactic acid in like my arms my chest my shoulders like 
I've, I've, lost there by the founders. I've always liked being like, like wedge, whatever, right? And I still have quite a lot of muscle mass. It's just not as strong as it used to be, and it's not as quite. It's not as pumped, you know. Because when you're working out five days a week, it's just always pumped, right? Not as pumped as it used to be. So, yeah, like I, I, I miss that feeling of just feeling strong, feeling yeah, feeling big, right? I just miss that feeling. You said that before, and it helped me. Down £40 pounds in five months. Oh, GG's checkmate. Seems like a blink. And that's what I mean, right? How quick has that five months gone? Michael Brabham, thanks for the five months, brother. It's my 40th birthday today. Hey, man, life starts today for you, bro. Congratulations and happy birthday, man. Well done. I did your fasting regime helps a lot. I really, really enjoy fasting. I really enjoy it, but I, d I don't enjoy fasting. Like I, I've done quite a few times, like, um, like sixteen eight fasts, or you know things like that, or like you know having windows of only like six hours a day where you're allowed to eat and stuff. And I just don't enjoy that at all because I feel gluttonous during the window where I'm allowed to eat, and I end up overeating during those occasions, and that's never that just doesn't work out well. I really enjoy prolonged fasting, like 48 hour to 60 hour fasts. I really, really, like, I, I enjoy them a lot. Um, right, so I, I'm just, you know, we're at 20 past five here. I am not going to have enough time um, to get Tommy Asu finished. And so I will not even try. He will be... The good news about this Tommy Asu card is he's got already four very good playstyles. He is now four star, five star, and he has no playstyle pluses with good defending, decent physical, and decent pace. He is now actually primed for a couple of Evos that will make him incredible. So I can't be too disheartened that we didn't get the full upgrade on him. Sounds like you aren't eating a nutrient protein heavy diet. You eat soup and stuff, which won't fill you up. I, I have plenty of protein. Protein. Yeah, we're going to do the 85 plus player picks now. I'm just going to double check that I haven't got anything else that's expiring that I want to do. And then we're going to go onto the other account and get prepared on, on the main account. All good there. This we got to do. Uh... Nope. Don't forget my daily login. I've already finished all the daily logins, yeah. Don't make memories in the gym, boys. Get out there and enjoy life. What a terrible, terrible piece of advice. Think of it like this, right? If you if you if you spend one hour a day in the gym, short of like an unfort unforeseen event like i don't know getting hit by a car or something like that right you are going to be adding so many more quality years of life to your life for sacrificing one hour a day in the gym and so you will be able to get out and enjoy life for far 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 longer because you went to the gym for an hour a day I met my girlfriend in the gym, that guy lied. Boom. How about that? Doesn't have to be in the gym either, to be fair. Yeah, so there, there's there's a guy, um, I can't remember his name. He's he's brilliant, uh, brilliant um like fitness guy on uh, TikTok. And uh he was talking about efficiency with working out and how he has so many clients that end up losing considerably more weight and staying dedicated to working out because they do something they actually enjoy. And he speaks on just how valuable it is 
to do something that you enjoy, not to do something that is the single most efficient thing for you to do. And I like if you just love walking, go and walk every day. You will lose weight slower than if you did something you hate, but you are way likely to stick to doing it because you actually enjoy what you're doing. And yeah, and so running for you, Big Spaghetti, I hate running. I, I don't mind cycling. Uh, I really like cycling, but I hate running. I hate running. And it's what it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's like, again, it's, it's like, I love working out. I love weightlifting. I love weightlifting. And I get so caught up when I start weightlifting. Of oh, I want to lose fat, though, you know? So weightlifting is not going to help, but it actually will. Um, there was a there was a great uh, a great piece of information that I watched once about cardio is investing for now, and weightlifting is investing for later because you know weight weightlifting is like compound interest in the sense of like when you have more muscle mass. Exactly that, Francis, right? Weightlifting is passive income and running is active income. Exactly that. Because once you start putting on muscle mass, your body burns more calories to just keep it, right? Um, and so although you might not see an immediate short-term impact of fat loss, you'll see a long-term impact of it. I've had personal trainers before and stuff, but I've, I've been working out since I was like 16, 17 years old on and off i've gone through a few phases of my life where i was like very very strong uh very very big um in terms of muscle and stuff and i've gone through a few phases where i've been like weak and fat and overweight and like you know in in not in the greatest shape and uh quite a lot of it is is actually attached to like where i am in life like emotional um you know emo emotionally like if i've got like not traumatic life events going on but if i've got like you know just if i'm going through a hard time in my outside of content creation life i f I, I tend to just turn to like comfort eating and shitty foods and drinking sugary drinks and not working out and when i'm happy in my life i tend to turn to working out a lot and eating nice and like drinking water and things like that and it's crazy like how my emotional kind of My, like my my emotional stature is like defines how I am in my body. It's weird. My wife's been attending the gym for five years. She's three stone heavier. Oh, she got that ass, huh? I see. You like pe pe people think that like weight loss is the is the goal. Weight loss is not the goal. Fat loss is the goal. Weight gain, for me, I want to be a lot heavier than I am right now. I just want it to be with muscle and not fat. Maybe it's the other way around. If you start working out and eating good, your mental health will improve. Yeah, like genuinely, maybe, yeah. Ever been a smoker? Nah. Nah, I literally can't even stand the smell of it, man. If somebody's smoking near me, I, I, I just have to leave. I hate the smell of it. Creatine is a cheat code. I have really bad like uh, like reactions to creatine. It gives me like intense headaches. So I've never been able to. Uh, I've I've tried a few different creatine options, powders, tablets, um, capsules, but I've literally never been vapor. Nah, um, I've I've never been. Uh, I've never been able to just like consistently use it. What about drugs? Never done drugs. Don't smoke. I, I I drink a lot more in the last two or three years compared to the rest of my whole entire life, but I, I'm st I'm not really a drinker, so to speak. Maybe like once a week, maybe like twice every three weeks, something like that, you know? All right, let's get some SBCs done here. Make you three by tens. Let's do the warm-up upgrade here just in case. Creatine increases blood pressure. Probably the reason for the headaches. Maybe. Do 
choose uh, working hours from 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. And according to US timings, when I come home and playing FC 24 until 6, 7 a.m., I cannot find time to balance the gym, family. Oh, you can find the times, are her. You just choose to play FC 24 for five hours a day instead of using that time and only playing it for three hours a day and working out one of those hours and spending one of those hours with your with your loved ones. Everybody has the time. It's just whether or not you choose to use it, right? Cheeky whiskey. Yeah, don't don't I'm I'm not opposed to a uh, what do we need for this? 85. I'm not opposed to a uh a honey jack. Honey jack and Dr. Pepper, mate. What about so rare? Have you ever played that? I live on that a little bit. Three times a week for a full body, everyone can get that done. Yeah, everyone can. It, it, even just walking, right? So one thing that I, I do very well, that people that I... When I drive anywhere and people are in the car with me, they hate it. But one thing that I love doing and one thing that I do very well is parking like as far away as possible from the thing that I'm going to. Like whether that be in a car park or something. Like when I drive the kids to school, you can like you can effectively park right outside the school. But I park 300 meters back. So that I have to walk all the way in and all the way back. And it adds like, you know, 500 steps, maybe 1,000 steps there and back to my, uh, to my journey. And so I'm really, really good at like kind of just adding unnecessary steps into my journey. Got enough eighty fours for the uh, player picks, which is great. Did I have my life on track when I was? Listen, man, I, I, I don't care what anybody says. People that tell you ever that they've had their life on track either have the lowest of ambitions or are just lying. I will be 40 years old this year, and I have never had my life on track, ever. I'm starting work in a couple of weeks, 9 to 1 every day, and I'll originally, and I'll walk to work, looking forward to it and dreading it at the same time. No, you'll be fine, Julian. You'll, you'll love it straight away. What I really liked is if you really want something, you'll find a way. If not, you'll find an excuse. Yep, true. Very true. You do 15,000 steps a night work. One of the one of the greatest things about working for for the pubs, working in pubs and stuff, was uh, was always the amount of steps, the amount of flights of stairs I'd do. Like we didn't have a dumb waiter. We had some dumb waiters, you know what I'm saying? But we didn't have a dumb waiter. So every time there was a food order, which we served a lot of food, up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs, down the stairs. Every time like a barrel of beer went down into the cellar, like cleaning the cellar every day. Like I genuinely probably did like. But honestly, I probably did about like 200 of flights, 200 flights of stairs a day and probably like 30 to 40,000 steps a day easily. Uh, that's like not including the extra physical work of actually cleaning the cellars and moving the barrels and stuff like that. Like it was it was massively, massively intense um, on like physical, like a physical grind. And it's probably why when I stopped working in the pub, 2015 is when I went full-time content creation. When I stopped working in the pub 2015, I was so fat, right? Because I didn't change my diet. I didn't even really stop working out. I kept working out a lot as well. I just lost all of the steps and all of the flights of stairs and all of the moving barrels around and stuff. And I just put on like crazy amount of weight, even though my eating habits did not change and my workout habits did not change. Um. So yeah, that that was that was that was that was one of the like most unhealthy periods of my life, I suppose. Yeah, it's a big issue, vibes. Do you know? Do you know what's mad as well, vibes? Like sometimes, like 
I'll stand up. Like yesterday after stream, I streamed for 10 and a half hours yesterday. Yesterday after stream, I stood up and I could feel like the blood rushing back down through my legs, right? And it was, I was like, holy shit, I, I basically haven't stood up for like eight hours. I'm, you know, I probably did get out of my chair a few times and stuff. But even today, like, I've been streaming for one hour, 20 minutes today, and I have not moved my ass out of this chair. And it is incredibly unhealthy. This is a standing desk, James. I just can't, I can't find the power adapter for it. And it's like, it's a really, like, I, when I first got this desk, I had to send, I had to buy a new one, basically, because they sent the wrong power adapter and it just blew the desk up. Um, I appreciate standing desks have probably come on a long way since I bought this one about five or six years ago. Um, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's on the list. Um, but the list is very, very long of things to do. And so, uh, yeah, actually getting it done and, and getting like, yeah, I don't know. They're, like, like I say, like nobody has their life in order, man. Lost over six stone in a year just from my job. With, with it, I did more working out in between. Yeah, nice. Oh, do, do you know what's crazy as well, guys? Before, like, when I when I when I first started making content, right? on YouTube many, many, many years ago. I literally used to stand up to play my games. I used to stand up playing FIFA all the time. And obviously, I, everything was post commed so you would never have known. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I had, like, my TV was on the wall, and when I stood up, my eye line was in line with the middle of the TV when I stood up. So I used to either... I used to play like this when I was sitting down, which would give me mad like neck aches and neck cramps and stuff. Um, and so I used to stand up almost all of the time. It wouldn't necessarily be possible now to stand up from here because the like, you know, I need a, now that I'm live, I need a microphone like right here. Um, but with a standing desk, obviously it would be possible. Or with a lapel mic would be like really good. There's a lot of really high class lapel, ni lapel mics now. Um, that you can get for like recording properly, like proper like podcast recording, recording style content with. I've got a couple, but again, it's one of those things where it's like actually having it set up. I think actually AJ uses a lapel mic, doesn't he? AJ3. Lost three stones since the start of December, just eight to 10k steps a day, three weight sessions and stopped eating crap. Didn't think I had the time or willpower to do it. But once you get it in the zone, it's easy. It is, it is. And it's it's all about it's all it's all about creating good habits, isn't it? That that's the biggest issue for a lot of people, is that they have bad habits. And I am in a situation right now where I have bad habits. Um, you know, I've got a lot of bad eating habits. Not not drinking per se, but a lot of bad eating habits. And so, to I, th I think like the rule of thumb is it takes like fourteen days to turn something into becoming a habit. And so you've got to do that. That initial two weeks of like pain before it just becomes your routine. Um, but yeah, the motivation to get back into the gym again. I probably need to go with friends or colleagues to get back consistent. I feel that man. Is it twenty one days? Is that what they say? Scratching? Is it? Was 210 pounds last June. Had lost 25 to 30 pounds by October just by cutting out loads of food. Didn't do any exercise really, just no crisp, etc. Yeah. And it makes, SJ, it makes a man. It's, it's so, so easy. Like, here's the thing, like, because they talk about this as well. I can't, I can't remember the, the terminology or the name of it, but like, working out is like 5% of you actually losing weight. People think that they can just run off their weight. You could, like, if you if you go on like a 20 minute or 30 minute run or whatever, you might burn like what 200 calories, 300 calories. You could just not eat 200 or 300 calories in that day and you've effectively done the same thing and you haven't had to work out at all. And the weight loss comes massively from the calories in the food and it, and it's so crazy when you actually start seeing how many calories in, are in things. And it's actually even crazier how like how nice some low calorie foods are just how 
boring they seem. Like, if you said to me, would you rather like KFC or um, a a kind of a salmon stir fry? Give me a fucking KFC every day, man. But if you just put a salmon stir fry in front of me, I would like a lot. I'd love it. I lo- like and. It's like a 350 calorie meal, unless you have like the sauce on top and stuff like that, then maybe you're pushing up towards 500 calories. But it's like a 350 calorie meal. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, like that's a nice filling meal, dense with nutrients, low in calories. Like, or, or, or the alternative is you'd go get a KFC and the fucking gravy alone is 300 calories. And it's like the amount of calories in this pot of gravy is almost equal to the whole fucking meal of the salmon and noodles. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm Nikon. Thanks for the Prime, man. So rare CT. Thanks for the three months, brother. And Kieran, thanks for the 999, my man. He says, hi, I've been watching the RTG since FIBA 19. When you got Trezeguet in, like, the first week. Oh, I remember that one. I was, uh, I was in, a, in my old home then in a different office as well because my office was being renegade, renovated. Just wanted to say you're a legend, mate. Been a staple for my, of my day for years. Keep up the amazing work. Well, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that a lot. Chris, thanks for the five pound. I lost 30 pounds last year by managing a large calorie deficit. Yeah. Ca- calorie, like, calorie deficit is... Calorie deficit diet isn't only... Isn't sustainable. You have to learn to have life. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. I think... I mean, I wouldn't even want to be in a calorie deficit anyway. I would want to be balanced, right? But... I think in terms of our actual fat loss, calorie deficit is the easiest way, or well, it's the only way to lose the fat. But um, I, I, I always think like it, it, it reminds me of this that Justin. Do you remember that Justin Timberlake film where he had like the amount of days, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries that he had to live like on his arm? I am very, very, very good at not uh, getting in time. Is that what it's called? I'm very good at not having more when i know i've hit a limit right and i wish and i know you can track your calories right i know you can but i wish that there was just like a little fucking line or something on my wrist that i can tune to like 1700 calories and once my body's consumed 1700 calories it goes ping. and at that point i would very easily be like okay i know now i can just i'm set for the day i'll wake up tomorrow and eat something again tomorrow instead but if I'm trying to manually calculate them in my head or track them or write them down, I'm like, oh, was that like 500 or 300? It was, oh, how many calories was that? Or I'm like, oh, oh I already, I've, I've already hit 1,900 today now. I might as well just like a fucking start again tomorrow, get into 1,700 calories for tomorrow. Or I'll be like, oh, but I only ate like, you know, do you know again, do you know how easy it is to eat 1,000 calories or less? How, how dense you can get food as well? People think like a thousand calories a day. Oh, that's that's unhealthy as well. Do you know it's not? Do you know how much food you can actually add into a thousand calories? You can make so much food in a thousand calories. There are so many like nutrient dense foods, and noodles specifically are brilliant for like low calorie, high density foods, like you know, stodge that people like. And I'm like, some days I'm like, well, I only ate like 950 calories yesterday. So I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, ha- I'm, I'm happy to have 2,500 calories today because that way I'm only 3,500 calories between the two days and that's okay. And then as soon as that happens, I eat some shit to get those 2,500 calories and then all of a sudden I'm back in a bad habit of eating crap. You can eat so much fruit and vegetables for 1,000 calories. It's kind of crazy. Like literally bonkers how much you can eat. And, and like, do you know, like I love... Ed and Army, right? So nice. You can almost, it's almost a superfood. Like you almost, you, because of how many calories you use to chew and process the food, you don't even really gain almost any calories eating it. And it's, it's just mind-blowing, mind-blowing.
What food is that? Edanami. It's, it's effectively like peas in a pod. Also, how bonkers, how little you can eat to get to a thousand calories. It really is. It really is. Yeah, but how nice are crisps? <laughs> crisps are nice, mate. Crisps are nice. It's, it's, it's actually quite mad as well. Like One of the reasons why I eat a lot of shit sometimes is because of how easy it is. Not to necessarily, not, so, sometimes I'll open the fridge and I'll be like, like the other day, like Lauren's bought these new Tupperware pots to like start preparing fruit and veg and have them just in pots and stuff, right? And the other day there was loads of them in the fridge with like carrot sticks in there. One of them was just full of grapes. One of them had, uh, uh, one was celery. I don't really like celery. Like I just don't like the kind of, the stringy bits from it and the texture, so I don't really eat that. One of them was just full of um, like little bean snaps and stuff. And I was like, I opened the fridge. I was like, oh, carrots, sick. So I just got the carrots, ate, ate the carrots, nice. Sometimes there's not stuff that there, and I'm like, oh, there's a chocolate bar there. I'll eat that instead. What are we having for dinner tonight? Takeaway? No. <laughs> Let's see. I've got my charger, yeah. Can I get the one from upstairs in the bedroom? The amount of time you spent looking, you could have been up there and got it and been back down by now. What am I having? Oh, God knows. A laugh and a laugh. Right, let's do some uh, 81 player picks as well. No, it's but it's that weird thing. You can go upstairs and get the one from upstairs. My mate has gone to football twice a week in most days, and he's went from 100 kgs to 75 kgs in a couple of months. Runs 10k every day as well. And that's pretty intense, to be fair. No, but it's true. Like, if, if, if there's, like, even fruits, right? If there's just, like, some chopped up apple in the fridge and I'm, like, feeling, you know, I'm, like, oh, I'm almost boredom eating, I'll go and get that chopped up fruit and I'll be like, yeah, that's what I'm going to eat because that's what's there. If, like I say, if, however, I want to boredom eat and there's nothing pre-prepared that's healthy, I will not only probably go and get some crap i will end up going and getting loads of crap and then i'll feel bad about it afterwards so to soothe the negative thoughts i'll just go and get some more crap and then i'll be in a mindset of like well i'll start tomorrow i'll start with a good diet tomorrow so i might as well get like eating all of the crap i can out of my system now so I'll, I'll, and then i like massively indulge and, you know, overeat a lot. And then because I feel like crap in the morning, I'll carry on. And that's, that's, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Son of Rachel, thanks for the 10 months, man. Can't believe you're wasting calories by eating them and not putting them in exchange. <laughs> there was an exchange for them instead. For like muscle or something. I'd exchange my calories for muscle. If only I could actually do that. He says, the gym, five foot from him. What I do, like I need to eat all the crap food so there is no more crap for me to eat. But precisely, yeah. That regret following two Big Macs is unbearable, to be honest. And, and, then, and then, like, do you know, like, like we, we had a kebab the other night, right? And kebab's not even terrible because I don't really like or eat the doner meat. We don't get it delivered with a kebab. I don't really like the bread either because whatever the, however they put the sauce on and stuff, the bread is always soggy, and I just hate the the soggy the the soggy bread. Right. 
so it's like kind of like lamb lamb bits and then chicken bits and then sometimes some some something else right and so effectively it's just meat so it's not even that it's genuinely not bad like bad for you because the way they cook the kebabs is grilled all of the fat drips off before it gets put in so it's kind of like it's one of the healthier takeaways that you can get right but when it comes to it so very often i'm full up before i finish the food but i will still sit there and make sure i force every last bit down my fat fucking face right because i'm like well we've paid for this as if it's different to paying for other food that's just in the fridge or something like that you I'd very easily have a yogurt go out of date and be like yeah fuck fuck that off in the bin it's out of date my mentality there isn't well i've paid for this so let me make sure i eat it before it goes out of date but when it's a takeaway I'm like, well, I've still got three bits of chicken and two bits of beef there. I can't, I can't put that in a bin. What do we eat? And it's just such a horrible, horrible thing to do again, isn't it? Because I know I'm full. And at, and at the point where I eat that now, I'm eating for the sake of eating. I, I'm not hungry. I don't even want it sometimes. And yet I'll still shove it down my gob. It's awful. And the worst thing is, is like, I know it's awful. And as I'm doing it, I know I don't want to do it, and yet I still do it. I don't know. Weird. Right, there we go. 385s and 781s. Your bab is healthy. But it is, right, Tyler? Like, you, you can laugh, right? But in, in effect... It's it's not about health or lack of health, right? It's about like again, like calories in versus calories out. If you eat a doner kebab, that is full of calories, full of shit, full of grease, full of fat, horrible, right? If you have like a like the mixed kebab that I have, it's literally grilled meat. It's grilled chicken and grilled lamb and grilled beef, chopped up, put on some bread with some salad. It's it's about as like there's no added anything. There's no you know there's no like um, it's not cooked in fat or anything like that. Like yeah, the bread is like the worst bit, and that's that's the bit I don't even eat. And so although it's not quote unquote healthy, right? It's also not unhealthy. Yeah, the sauces are massively calorie high. Tomo, thanks for the thirteen months, man. Much appreciate, brother. I do that all the time. My wife tells me all the time, like, stop if you're full. If you're full, you don't need to force yourself. And it's just gotten to the point where it's mindless and it just always happens. Yep, I feel you, man. You had a mixed kebab last night, actually. Mixed kebabs are solid. We talked about something similar at work the other day. The ordering of a large pizza and finishing it just because you paid for it and want to get your money's worth. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Pizza's, like, mad. Like, you can eat one pizza and that's, like, 2,000 calories. And then especially if you get like some chicken strips and some chicken wings on the side and maybe some cheesy garlic bread, before you know it, you're about like 3,000 calories in and, and that's one meal. Biggest issue with eating is I don't eat slowly enough to recognize being full before I get to the I ate way too much level. So what, one of the biggest tips that was given to me that I did for about three days and never again because it wasn't enjoyable was just drink a glass of water, like a, a, a like a, you know, a reasonably sized glass of water, not a little glass of water before you eat. And when you eat then, you you will become full up so quick because most of the time when you think you're hungry anyway, you're not actually hungry. You just think you're hungry. And it's about to go Domino's. Can't fault a 2,500 calorie Domino's pizza. I mean, listen, it tastes nice, doesn't it? It tastes nice. You, you can't fault it. You can't. Right, let me go to the bathroom, guys, before we get the team of the season live up and running. And uh, let, let me go and find a Kit Kat or something to eat. Just...
Oh. What the fuck happened? Did my control fall off the floor? Oh, it did. God damn it. We'll build another one. We'll build another one. Literally, fell thank God it was uh, the 81 plus and not the 85 plus. Otherwise, I would have been... I would have been upset. I'm upset. And a million on my head of this respect. Uh, no bots. Thanks for the 13 months, man. And uh, Alexander Martin Jones. Thanks for the prime. How the hell did my controller fall off the, the desk? That's mad. Actually mad, mad. Haunted office. Crack a bottle. Let your body waddle. Server down in five, four. We've got a, we've got a uh, unbound request, guys. I'm gonna read it. Just a bit of footy banter. I'm a Spurs fan, so I had to hang on something this season. The man has two messages only in the chat ever. And they're both about Bukayo Saka. We'll give him a little one ban on that. Don't ever utter again. All right. B -b 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 Kyle Saka D squared, thanks for the seven months, man. You should be drinking water. Dr. Pepper Zero is mostly water. So we all right there. We all right there. Oh no. Viper Vicious, thanks for the six months, man. Don't be scared. Are you ready, guys? What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome to Team of the Season Live. This has replaced Team of the Season most consistent. From the players that I've seen leaked already, this looks absolutely incredible. Of course, I get asked a lot, what, what is Live Tots? And we're going to explain it right here. Team of the Season has arrived and kicks off with Live Team of the Season. Live Team of the Season player items will have two opportunities to upgrade depending on the outcome of their club's next four real-world fixtures. Live Tots items will be available in packs until April 26th, 2024. That's one week from now. To celebrate the start of Team of the Season, a Live Tots guaranteed pack has been granted. What? That's mad. Which contains one untradeable Live Tots player item. They've actually just given everybody a Live Tots. That is actually mad. Check out the My Pack section in the Ultimate Team Store to access your pack. Oh, I will. I will. Oh, I will. But first, we've got some player picks. Save your packs for me, guys. Let's, let's do share plays on those Team of the Season packs. Save those packs for me. Let's get some player picks open. Of course, we'll rip the player picks. We'll rip that Team of the Season pack. Then we'll go and look at the content and the team. It's probably going to be a longer video today, guys. So settle in. Oh, twice in a row there. God damn be taken there for the exchange but uh and of course if you guys do pack some team of the season lives let me know what you got uh on twitter instagram tiktok wherever you feel like dming me um i will be there i will be there these 81 pluses i'm not actually expecting a, a tots out of these but the 85 pluses i very much am and uh from what i've seen as i said from what i've seen from the uh the team of the season content that has been leaked these players have got Huge boosts. Most of them have got three playstyle pluses. Game's freezing in it. Most of them have got three playstyle pluses, but not all of them. Some of them are two playstyle pluses. Uh, wow, these player picks were quite tidy. Uh, right, 385 plus player picks. Here we go. Number one, we get Irene Paradis Nut. Ah, Gaddy. Number two, we'll take an 88 Renard as well. Good for the uh, Kai Havertz SBC that uh, I know is going to be here. Number three. Damn. So no blue for me from those player picks. But let's go and get that pack. 
come on EA man hook me I don't even know who like I, I've seen the team of all the players but I don't know the play styles the stats the in games the skill moves the weak foots or anything like that so I am excited no matter which one I get here right live team I can't believe I'm that is actually mad from EA oh I like the team of the season flair England CDM Covent Coventry it's sheaf 89 rated i like the flair i can't lie he's got four star four star decent pace very good passing actually very good defending and physical decent dribbling very good defensive play styles wow has he got a center back as an option he's not he'd, he'd be a better center back but i bet he's already like 30k I bet he was already like on the floor for price. Only two playstyle pluses. He, he literally is. <laughs> He's already 30k. That's mad. This is this is a fodder. This is a fodder, a fodder promo, guys. A fodder promo. Um right, before we get into the objectives as well, I just want to rob the rob rob rip the 82 by 11 Ah. I presume that these might maybe actually come out at the back as well, to be fair. Oh, the game is uh, the game is heavy in it. Okay, no duplicates, which is quite mad, but no team of the season. Right, let's begin. <laughs> Insert coin sponsor. Use code NEP at checkout for six percent off. Use seven buy .com. All right, with that, guys, let us begin with objectives. As per usual, we'll have a look at what we've got here today. We have got live team of the season daily completionist. 1,000 XP for each one. That's part... Oh, damn. Look at these menus are gone. 83 by 2, 83 by 2, rare election, premium gold, and 80 by 10. Live team of the season daily play was already there. Live team of the season McGinn. Nine matches with three Scottish players. What is with this menu, man? An 81 by 2, an 81 by 2, a 75 by 5. Concede one or less goals in five separate games. Win seven games with five Premier League players. Score and assist with midfielders in six games and play nine games with three Scottish players, and you get a 90-rated, of course, live McGinn. Four-star, four-star. Right mid, centre mid, and CDM. Really nice passing again. Great short pass, great long pass, good vision. Decent pace. Great physicals. Decent defending, decent dribbling. Really nice play styles. Relentless, press proven, technical, sly tackle, anticipate plus. Long born, incisive pass plus. That's a good card with, obviously, the possibility of some upgrades in there as well. These menus are suffering. Um, so that's 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 not bad, to be fair. Um, and then the team of the season, daily play and daily play completionist. Seasonal, there's probably nothing because it expires on Thursday. And milestones, nothing in milestones either. Okay, so one objective. Right, evolutions. Let's have a look. I was... Uh, I was told that we'll be getting two today and here they are going to be attacking mid connection and defensive mid connection they're both prevos they both require maximum number of playstyle pluses as one um one has to be a cdm oh one gives a cdm one gives a cam overall 87 pace 88 dribbling 88 playstyle seven playstyle plus is one this gives an overall of three pace, two shooting, five passing, four dribbling, four defending, four physical. It also gives one star weak foot, anticipate, quick step, incisive pass plus, and ping pass. And then the attacking mid connection gives three pace, four shooting, four passing, four dribbling, no defending, two physical. And also gives first touch, one star skill moves, tiki taka, and rapid plus. I mean, they're good. For Freevos as well, they're good. There's, there is going to be some very good combinations of cards that you can use that are going to be very, very good. Um, we'll take a, I might take a deeper look at those later on today. We'll take a look at them on, um, on foot.gg, but might take a deeper look at like what good connections and stuff we can have um, in a different video later or, or tomorrow lunch. So, SBCs. Brilliant. Gonna, it's, it's gonna it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough it's very interesting to remember that these are live cards we have got kai havertz this card it is as it was in the leak 
Four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. Oh, my days. Left back, center mid, cam, and striker. Great pace. Controlled lengthy. Great physicals. Great defending, although interceptions and defense awareness are a bit low. Great dribbling. Great part. Oh, my. That passing is crazy. And he's got... Finesse shot plus, ping pass plus, technical plus, aerial, Traveller, first touch, bruiser, whip pass, long ball pass, and chip shot. That is a genuine, genuinely incredible card. A dead eye chem style at striker, an engine chem style at cam, a shadow at left back, an anchor at DM. Crazy. 10 segments for him. 85 with an inform. 86 with an inform. 87 with an inform. Twice. 88, 89, thrice. And 290s, no informs. Cheap, if you ask me. Cheap. Uh, let's see what else we've got. That is a banging card. And of course, let's not forget. Upgradable plus by plus two. If he gets the upgrades, because he's already got some stats at 99, the other stats will get boosted. Like the first plus one will get take him to 99 sprint speed, 91 acceleration. The second plus one will take him to 93 acceleration. That's banging. Anything else here for players? No. Upgrades. 83 by 10 is there again. 82 by 11 is there. 83 team of the week is back again. Nothing otherwise. Challenges. Live team of the season daily challenge for a rare election players pack. Icons. Wow. Rio Ferdinand team of the year. 20 segments. Oh my days. Bronze and silver. 83 loan. 84. 86s. 287s. 488s. 389s. 390s and 291s. Is he really, like, that good? Or did EA just know that fodder's going to be plentiful, and so it's going to be easy? The exchange is back, which is great. Um, 85 for 7 players, 86 for 11, 87 for 19, 88 for 27, 89 for 51. It's exactly the same, um, which is great. I'm glad, I'm glad it's back. I'm glad it's back. And then store... Into the store, yeah. I, I, I personally will probably pass on that. Uh, on that rear Fernand, it depends. It depends how common the team of the seasons are, because ninety ones could become really, really easy to use or to get. Um, so we have got a new pack design, but foundations eighty one, essentials eighty six plus the Wii, the Wii eighty plus pack. So no team of the season specific packs. I thought we would have one. Doesn't none of them guarantee anything team of the season esque? This guarantees two eighty sixes and twenty five rare golds for five hundred FIFA points. No ten coin pack today again. And then we're just going to go and look at the team after this pack because I'm excited to see what the team's going to be. So we don't get ourselves the team of the season here. Come on, EA. I know the menus are tough, but let's let's go. The 10 coin packs are every 48 hours, are they? All right. There we go. Oh, well, Karen Benson are in there. Um, all right, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and wait for that pack to open. Let's go and have a look at the team. Before we look at the actual team, let's look at this Kai Havertz. 1.4 million SBC price currently. Cheap, if you ask me. Cheap. Honestly, his play styles are insane. The only one that's not good is chip shot. As I said to you guys, the, the fact that he can play striker, left back, cam and centre mid is wild. I know somebody said uh, in the chat, you'd put a shadow on with 98 sprint speed. I just, I would want that acceleration. So yeah, I would. Um, but with a shadow, he's got perfect pace. Incredible defending and incredible physical physical incredible dribbling and incredible passing at left back that is a bonkers card and he's got 
I suppose he's only got Bruiser. Maybe I wouldn't play him at left back because he doesn't have defensive play styles. I think with an engine, I mean, that is, that is a wild card as an engine. Phenomenal passing, phenomenal dribbling, phenomenal pace. Maybe an anchor would actually be better even for that centre-back role. It, this is just a good card. And then a dead eye. Maybe a finisher. Uh, dead, dead, eye, dead eye is better for it. Dead eye is better for the shooting. Just this. I mean, it's just a great card. Just a great card. It is a great card. Let's look. Let's 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 go to the SBCs. So we've got the live team of the season daily challenge. Rio Ferdinand. The exchange being back. The team of the week upgrade being back, which is great. The seventy-seven. Major League doubles up. Oh, it's back, is it? I didn't even realize it went. And then Kai Havertz. Love it. Let's have a look. Objectives. McGinn. Daily play. Daily play completionist. Nice. Let's have a look at this McGinn. I don't mind this card as well, to be fair. I like the fact he's got Anticipate Plus, Incisive Pass Plus, Relentless Press Proving a Good. Shadow Chem Style on him. Good pace. Good defending. Good physicals. Good passing. Good dribbling and good shooting. And again, we've got to remember, these are live cards. These cards can be upgraded. Good. I like it. Um, and then last but not least, we have got the team. All right, we'll start. Sheaf. They are already 17,000 coins for these cards. How is that possible? Sheaf with the four-star, four-star, nice play styles. Shadow Chem style on him is good. Very good pace, very good defending, very good physicals, good, very good passing, decent dribbling, very good play styles. He is 18,000 coins already. Rafa Mujica at striker, aerial plus, power shot plus, four star, five star, finesse shot, power header, incisive, technical, rapid, trickster, quick step, and Traveller. This card is good. You pop a Hunter Chem style on him. You've got max pace, great shooting, good physicals, great jumping. How tall is he? Six foot one. Decent passing, decent dribbling. Upgradable. Um, I can see why this card's cheap. 15k. I don't... <laughs> ah, 15k. We've got Alba. She can play right mid, right wing, and centre mid. She's five star, four star with finesse shot plus and incisive pass plus, chip shot, power shot. Sorry, long ball pass plus, incisive pass, whip pass, relentless quick step and first touch. Good dribbling, good pace, decent positioning and finishing, good passing, good physicals, reasonable defensive stats as well, to be fair. You're popping an engine on her. That's a good card. It's not a great card. Again, like what I've got to get my mind into the setup of is two play style plus players are now going to very quickly become behind the power curve unless they have literally elite play style pluses david costa technical and traveller plus finesse power shot incisive rapid flare first touch quick step relentless bit mid dribbling weird pace split not the greatest shooting, decent passing. This is a poor card. This is a card that I can absolutely see why he will be just dirt cheap. Has potential to get upgraded a couple of times, but I get his price being, being low. He's a centre forward. I'd probably play him on the wing. Has he got passing play styles? Not really. He's got shooting play styles. you kind of got to play him as a striker. I, 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 don't, I, I don't think he's very good. I wouldn't even touch him. Otamendi, Anticipate Plus and Jockey Plus. That is incredible. Slide Tackle, Bruiser, Aerial, Intercept and Power Header. His play styles are very good. Three star, three star, medium high. Decent dribbling for a centre back. Decent passing. Great physicals. Very good defending. Good pace with a shadow. Great pace. Great defending. Great physical. That's a good card. And you'd like to expect Benfica to score eight goals and win two games in their next four, four games. So expect Otamendi up to a, a 91 as well. We've got Morgan Weaver, power shot plus, rapid plus, five star, four star, finesse shot, chip shot, power header, whip pass, technical flare, quick step and aerial, really good play styles. Five star, four star, five foot ten, good physicals, decent passing, decent shooting, decent dribbling, decent pace. 
It's a, she's a winger, but no passing play styles. Whip pass is the only one. I, I honestly feel like incisive pass, long ball pass, or ping pass are like so important now, like more important than they've ever been. For that reason, because she's got power shot plus and finesse shot, I'd probably play her at striker. I'd probably put a hunter on her and play her at striker. I think that could be a really, really good card with a five star, four star as well. Can understand again why this card's quite cheap. We've got Bayer, right mid, left mid, striker, centre forward, four star, four star, power header and rapid plus. I don't like power header as a play style plus. I think it's useless. He's got acrobatic power shot, technical tricks, the quick step, finesse shot and chip shot. A good card. He's got great pace. Decent physical. Decent passing. Decent dribbling. Finisher on him. Not a bad card. It'd, it'd be an interesting one. Maybe a marksman on him. Not a bad card. Um, we've got Turland, Sobosly, Marino. Sobosly's down at 270 already? Oh my days. Oh my guys. What are these prices? What are these prices? Turland's got finesse shot plus and power shot plus with five star weak foot. That is a wild com combination. Chip shot, incisive pass, rapid, aerial power header. Uh, guys, I, it, this might be a little bit reactionary, right? But these prices make players like this, like the, the, the fact that Sobosly with three play style pluses, upgradable by a plus two, and already incredible in game stats, is already 210,000 coins, is going to make players like this literally pointless, right? Finesse shot plus, power shot plus, chip shot, power header, incisive pass, rapid and aerial. It's a good card. She's got very good physicals, decent dribbling, decent passing, good shooting, good pace. Hunter chem style. It's a good card. And of course, I've said it three times already, but let's not forget these cards are upgradable. Sobber Sly has set piece plus, technical plus, Traveller plus, finesse shot, power shot, long ball pass, whip pass, intercept and flare. Decent pace. Although a weird split. Very good shooting, especially from range. Very good passing, good physicals, good dribbling. I'm probably putting like an engine on him. Yeah, I mean, that's a banging card. That is a banging card. It gives him great dribbling, great pace, great passing, great shooting from range, good physicals, and probably going to get a plus two. That's mad. We've got Mikel Marino. Finesse shot plus, incisive pass plus, four star, four star, power shot, power header, long ball, tiki taka, anticipate, technical, relentless, and aerial. This card is crazy. He's got very good passing, good physicals, good defending, decent shooting, decent. He's, he's well rounded. This is the sort of card that with a plus two could be crazy, crazy. I'll play him a shadow on him and play him at like defense midfield. He's already 30k. That's mad. Anthony Robin, Robinson from Fulham. He's got rapid plus, block plus, four star, four star, incisive pass, whip pass, jockey, slide tackle, relentless, and long throw. They are very good play styles. He's got very good stats, good passing, good dribbling, good defending, good physical, good pace. You put an anchor chem style on him. He's got great pace, very good defending, very good physicals. That is a very good card. Now, Fulham, uh, like they might struggle to get the goals and wins, but if he does get the upgrades, he's going to be mad. I already feel like because of his pace, defending and physicals and his real cool play styles, he's going to be crazy good anyway. We've got Hincapié. He's got intercept plus, slide tackle plus, jockey block, relentless and aerial. Very good play styles. He's got great passing, but no vision. Very good dribbling. With the shadow, he's got top pace, top defending, good physicals, very good card. He's 67k already. And he will almost definitely get uh, both upgrades as well. Wilf Zaha, pinged pass plus. Whipped pass plus, quick step plus, power shot technical, rapid and flare. What? Five star, four star, can play left mid, center forward and striker. Great pace, good dribbling, good shooting, good passing, good physical. Probably would expect him to get the full upgrades as well. I'll probably go Maestro on him too. Maybe an engine. Yeah, probably an engine. Max pace. Much better passing, top end dribbling, good physical. I would expect this card to be a bit cheaper based on some of these stats and how people already have like a lot of players anyway. And then we've got Leia Ale Alexandri. 
Wing pass plus, jockey plus, anticipate plus, four star, four star, center back and right back, long ball, block, quick step and aerial as a right back should be incredible. With a shadow, top pace, top defending, good physicals, good passing, not the best vision though. Decent dribbling, four star, four star, with very good play styles. I probably wouldn't play her as a centre back because five seven. And then again, upgradable. And then we've got Saint Max, Jonathan Klaus, Bisek, Rafinha, Loftus. Look at the price points of these players, guys. I don't understand. Alan Saint Maximin, quick step plus, long ball pass plus, first touch plus, five star, five star, relentless ping pass tricks to flair and technical, bang in pace, bang in dribbling. Very good passing, very good physicals. I will definitely be putting a maestro on him. That is an unreal card. And we'll probably get double upgrades to a 93. He's, he's obviously reasonably expensive at 820k. That's, that's not cheap. That's not easy to come by. We've got, th this blows my mind, 120k currently for this Jonathan Klaus. He's got block plus, intercept plus, relentless plus. Right back, right mid, right wing back, four star, four star. Incisive, whipped, anticipate, press proven, quick step and long throw. This is an insane card. Pop an anchor on him. Top pace, great defending, great physicals, good passing, very good dribbling, great play styles. And he's already 120k. Bisek, 200k, jockey plus, block plus, relentless plus, aerial power header, bruiser, intercept, and long ball. What a card. Very good dribbling, very good passing, very good uh, physical. Shadow chem style gives him very good pace and very good defending. That is a very good card. That is a very good card. Rafinha, a million coins, technical plus, quick step plus, chip shot plus, bit of a dead play style plus, that one. Power shot, relentless, trickster flare, and rapid. Five star, four star. I'm actually, again, I'm very surprised this card is as expensive as it is. Because, like, he's, he's good, don't get me wrong. But I feel like people just have players, like, on this level to the point where I wouldn't expect this card to be a million coins. I mean, he's got great pace, very good passing, very good physicals, and good dribbling. I would probably give him an engine chem style, boost up that dribbling pace and passing to the max with technical and quick step as well. I mean, he'll be a beast. He'll be a beast for sure. Just a little bit unexpected on that price point. Ruben Loftus-Cheek, four-star, five-star, has got CDM center mid, cam right wing back, incisive pass plus, intercept plus, bruiser plus, ping pass, long ball pass, tiki-taka, whip pass, anticipate, press proven and Traveller. He's lengthy. He's got very good passing, like short pass, long pass, vision is banging. Physical's good. Shooting's good. Dribbling's decent. Give him a shadow, drop him into your DM role, get him those upgrades, happy days. A good card. Kudus. Whipped pass plus, trickster plus, bit dead for a playstyle plus trickster in my opinion, rapid plus. Quick step first touch, flare technical and finesse shot. Four star, four star, great pace, great dribbling, low reactions mind you. Kudus has actually got decent defensive stats, passing's a bit meh. I'd probably go for a, an a maestro on him. Gets the short pass, long pass vision up nicely. Gets a shooting up. Gets a dribbling up in the right areas. Good physicals. It's, it's still a very good card. And I'd expect Villa to most likely get the plus two for him as well, up to a 94. We've got Romero, now 900,000 coins. Anticipate plus. Slide tackle plus. Power header plus. Jockey intercept bruiser aerial technical long ball. That is an incredible, incredible set of play styles. With a shadow, he has got banging pace, banging defending, banging physical. Good passing but low vision, good dribbling, and four star skill moves. Sorry, West Ham for yeah, West Ham for Caduceus. I would, I would probably still expect West Ham to get one or one or two of the upgrades. Villa was for McGinn, wasn't it? Didn't Villa have two cards anyway? But you know what I meant, West Ham. No, Villa have just one card. We've then got Santos, McGinn's the Villa player. Doku, Averts SBC. We've looked at Bruno and Modric. Lisi Santos, finesse shot plus, rapid plus, flare plus, power shot, incisive pass, tiki taka, technical trickster, press proven Traveller. Five star, five star, good physical, great passing, good shooting, great dribbling. 
I mean, this is a... I'm putting an engine on that. Great pace, great dribbling, great passing, very good physical, good shooting, very good play styles, five star, five star. That is a wild card for 100,000 coins. Doku. Now that's mad, isn't it? Five star, four star. That is a ridiculous card. That is a ridiculous card. First of all, he's going to get both upgrades, right? He's got Power Shot Plus, Whip Pass Plus, Rapid Plus, Finesse Shot, Quick Step, Trickster and Flare. What's crazy about this card is, pace is maxed out, dribbling is already insane. Even though his shooting's only 86, he's got 91 positioning, 90 finishing and 90 shot power. It's the penalties and volleys that bring that down and who cares? Long shots are at 80. Good vision, good short pass, otherwise passing not the, not the best. Good physicals. I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know. Marksman, quite possibly. Gives him great shooting, great... I mean, he's already got great stats anyway, but... Artist, possibly. Vision crossing maxed out. Passing is good. Architect, possibly. Gives him insane physicals, insane passing. Powerhouse, I wouldn't do. Maestro, mm, not really. Engine, definitely not. Sentinel, definitely not. Guardian, looks quite pointless. Gladiator, definitely not. Damn, I'd, uh, might, might be an artist for me. Gets his dribbling to elite tier. He's passing a big boost. The rest of his stats are great. Bruno Fernandes. This card is wild. Five star, four star, finesse shot plus, technical plus, incisive pass plus, pinged long ball, Traveller, flare and first touch. Great passing, great shooting, decent pace, very good dribbling, decent defending, great physicals. I don't even know what, what chem style, maybe a maestro. Max out some of those stats. Maybe an engine to get some pace, agility, balance in. Gives him great acceleration, great passing. Maybe a shadow and play him as like box to box defensively. He hasn't got any defensive play styles though. Maybe a hunter. Famous striker. Just a mad card. And obviously the ability to get plus two on this card as well. I've probably got an engine on him. But the ability to get plus two on that card is crazy. And then last but not least, guys, Luka Modric. Five star, five star. Technical, incisive, and anticipate plus. Finesse pinged, long ball whipped, intercepted Travella. That is a bonkers card. Insane passing. Insane dribbling. Good defending. Good physical. Decent pace. Very good shooting. I don't know. I don't know again. I don't know what chem style I'm putting on him. It depends where you want to play him, I think. He's got such... Like, it's just a, such a well-rounded card. It's hard to even... Like, his dribbling's already so good. His passing's already so good. You don't really need to boost it anymore. Maybe a maestro or a marksman. That's basically, oh wow, look at that. 99 dribbling, 99 passing, 99 shooting from range. It's good cards, guys. It's just good cards. Um, it's just good cards. And then we've got the new evolutions as well. I, I, I like both of these. I am definitely going to have to have a look in a different video tomorrow or later on tonight, depending on how busy the day is at what the best options are because there are some crazy crazy cards here that is a crazy card incredible dribbling good passing great shooting great physicals good pace there are some wild options and then a defensive mid connection you've got leon goretzka jakob kivior again fernandez frank lampard fits into it Kante, Petit, Essien. There's just some good, good, good options. This Goretzka card will be mad. Unleashing potential and then defensive mid connection. Shadow chem style. What a card. I need you to check the cord link. Second one. Oh. Oh. So this is a new team of the season 
plus chemistry system. Some players from mixed leagues like Eredivisie, Liga Portugal, MLS, EFL, Roshan, Women's Leagues and others will receive a Team of the Season Plus card, Team of the Season Plus chemistry, one club chemistry, five league chemistry, one nation chemistry. Also, they will have at least two chemistry if they play in their position. Awesome. Awesome. Um, and then this is from EA. Team of the Season reward changes. As in customary, Team of the Season rewards, blah, 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 blah. Champs we've already seen. So we'll get live tots, Premier League next. Oh, we'll get women's, oh, women's live tots and men's tots is now. Oh, so we're going to get double leagues together at the same time this time. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Squad battles is the same and rivals. Damn. Division 3 will be a team of the season red guarantee. Division 2 will be a player pick. Division 1, a player pick. And Elite will be a player pick. Team of the season. Team of the season live. There's the team of the season plus content. Team of the season mixed leagues. Eredivisie, Super League, League of Portugal, MLS, EFL, Saudi League, Scottish League, German 2, Switzerland, Austria, Poland, Sweden, and Belgium. Create some of the best players this season with your very own team of the season creator toolkit. I mean, it, it's a lot. It's a little bit overwhelming. But most, mostly, I really like... I like the SBC. I like the objective. The team's got some banging players. The thing that's the most interesting seems to be the price points of these players. And it makes sense because people have already got crazy, crazy cards. But Soboslai at 200k... Loftus Cheek at 290. Incapie, 90 pace, 91 defending, 90 physical for a centre back at 100k. Some of these cards are already down at 15 or 20k. It is mad. It is mad. But that is going to be the end of the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know if you packed any down below. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you. Peace. I, I, I think a lot of these players, these big players, will come down massively. Like, they're good. They're very good. But I think they'll come down. Um, right. Act one, crap. One of one of the uh, one of the things that EA are gonna have to sort of like deal with this year is the fact that people already have insane teams, and so even if they pack a very very good card, it's probably not going to get into the team. So only the insane players, or if you're building like a specific squad or something, are going to make like a difference for you. And I don't mind that. I, I just don't mind that. I, like, I hope that people will kind of use more players and have fun with it. Havertz is maybe the third or fourth best card in this in SBC. Yeah. Yeah, they want people to like use these new players. Right, we're, we're going to do some shares now, guys. Let me open my player. My three by ten. Lucky. With the exchange being back though, oh, life's gonna be great. I'll be very surprised if I don't pack at least like 15, 20 team of the seasons. I'm also I am somewhat surprised, but also kind of makes sense with the price points of some of these players. I'm somewhat surprised that EA have given everybody a free team of the season. Exchange FC is true, mate. It's true. It takes so long to open one pack. It does. It does. Open my packs, big man. We got. We got a lot. We got a lot. All right, Kieran up first. 
So we're mostly looking for those team of the season packs, guys, and then any like big packs would be nice. All right. What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FC24 video. Team of the Season Live is here. EA gave everybody, just for logging in, a free guaranteed Team of the Season pack. Let me know what you got down below. We're going to rip open a whole bunch of those guaranteed Team of the Season packs right now, and then some other big packs that people have saved over the last week or two for Team of the season. Some of these low rated team of the seasons are very cheap and very easy to pack. Let's see if we can get ourselves some of the bigger ones. The Modric's, the Bruno Fernandes would be very, very nice. And of course, if you guys are enjoying the content, you want to drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, we're starting with Weaver, who I believe is a uh, very, very cheap, cheap team of the season card. We're going to try and do mostly the team of the season packs and then maybe one or two other packs per account. Uh, just to see if we can get through as many of these blue packs as possible, the guaranteed TOTS packs as possible, uh, and see if we can hit something big. But it does seem like... Um, it does seem like they are coming out very, very commonly. Um, so if you save some massive packs, it might be... It might be worth holding on to the massive packs for like the Premier League or like a league specific team of the season and opening kind of like the 83 by 10s or the 84 by 10s now because, um, you know, like for me, I've got like a few 87 by 4s and stuff and I don't really want to open an 87 by 4 right now when I might just get, you know, some dead team of the season. I'd rather wait until like the Premier League tops is here and it's just flooded with like high-end cards that might be a better time to uh to open it but uh let's get into pack number two thanks uh kieran pal i do appreciate it. as i said I, what, what i mostly want to do is uh try and get myself into as many of the actual team of the season packs as possible and then we'll do like one or two other packs per account Three by ten. Got the epic max as well. Live tots guarantee. Here we go. Here we go. Man, the store's a bit heavy at the moment, isn't it? Obviously, people ripping so many packs. I do like the blue trim. I do like it. Spain. Striker. What was that? Aruka. It's our mate Rafa Mujica. He looks all right. He looks all right. Barnes extinct. Any of the others? What? What, what about the inform? I want. I want. I want my coins, man. Um. Can you extinct? Let's go. Um. Also, Josh, I might do like another video, either either for like later, late, late tonight, or for um, or for like tomorrow lunchtime. Just kind of like after, you know, 6 p.m. content is like a mad rush of like, let's see what's there and make an initial judgment on it. I wouldn't mind doing a video like in a few hours of like, you know, I don't know, like, this is my thoughts now. Um, would be, uh, would be quite fun. Man, ain't it? You got David Costa. Big G, that's who we're in now. I think tomorrow for team of the season as a whole. Share plays. 
I'm happy with it so far. I mean, the Kai Havertz SPC is banging. But it kind of makes me regret doing his, uh, his fullback card now. That way is so bad. I, I, I don't think it is, mate. pack weight is uh is very good especially for the lower rated ones also can't really complain about pack weight being bad when ea have literally given us a free team of the season pack you know get banned for point seven aren't i awesome. my god Eighty four by ten, eighty six by three. I have a wait. I was confused. I don't know what uh what car type that was. Damn, that is a terrible pack. That's why I'm like probably gonna save like my big, big, big packs. Damn, Sobel Sly is, uh, there's loads of him on the market. I've missed the boat on him. This guy have the guaranteed team with a six pack. Oh, it must be like further down the line. That's why he's uh, not got it. Let's see one more here. Pack weight is good. You pack three and five packs. I, de I definitely think for the, uh, like I say, for the lower rated cards, um, we'll go to the next one, Mr. T. Maybe rip a few until you can get that guaranteed team of the season pack there. I definitely think for the uh, lower rated cards, they're just going to be so common. Like, it, it's actually, like, for me, quite mad how one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of them are already, like, discard price. Hello. I'm recording. What's up? No, you've walked in now and disturbed already. It's too late. Fair enough. Reg, Josh, go. What do you think to cutting out the EA info bit and using this one? Yeah, yeah, I'd be all right with that. Damn, it's Cunha's. As expected, even even the big players are coming down. Like that Modric is already down to three million now, which is mad. Oh, this guy's got six eighty five pluses, Dave. Come on, let's let's see our first blue from a player pick. You've opened sixty packs and only got two. Jesus. It means you can save packs for Prem. Wait, is the team of the season is the free team of the season card specific to this team of the season, or is it just a team of the season pack? Because, yeah, if, if you save that for Prem, will it contain a Prem team of the season? I didn't read the pack description. Speci oh, it's specific. Okay. So there's no point saving it then. Damn, these player picks are stinky as. I, I, I really, really, really think like some of the price points of these players are so low. I, I because this is brand new. Like, let's let's keep in mind that Team of the Season Live is brand new, right? These cards all have very good chance of getting two upgrades. It's only two wins out of four games, and it's only eight goals, right? At the ve like, you know, for the for the other live cards before, it was um, it was eleven goals in four games, right? I, I honestly think that people are massively underestimating the potential of like, you know, you've got a few of the, uh, the lower rated guys that are like 14K and 15K, 13K, that could still get upgraded to like 93 rated cards. Like spreadsheet Josh. GG's mate, no blue for you. Guaranteed team of the season from daily. You get a guaranteed team of the season from daily play, do you? I didn't even see that. I must have missed that. 
Oh, look at this. This guy's got Kudus and Sheaf. Wait, is this... What are these player picks? Oh, this guy's got some mad player picks here. After five games. Wow. Whoa, Ruben Loftus cheek. This all right, this guy's got the good good luck. He already had two blues there that he sent away. Okay, that like this is ridiculous. This guy is a team of the season printer. Ruben Loftus cheek, another one there. Oh, he's got he's he saved all his 85 plus player picks. Wait, these are one of four. Oh, one of four 84s. Where are these from? Is that for Champs Rewards potentially? We got Gregor Kobel. Cool, oh, give us another one. Oh my days! They, it's only David Costa. He's like, he's like discard price, but still, that's another one. Thibaut Courtois, baby. His champs rewards. Wait, so he saved his champs rewards for the whole week? I mean, fair enough. I respect it. Imagine saving your champs rewards for a whole week. Don't take Mike. That's right. You take those 88s, baby. I honestly think if, if people grind the game properly, I honestly think there's probably only about five cards that you most likely won't pack. I think people will pack everything else. I think the five that you most likely won't pack will be Rafinha, Luka Modric, Doku, Bruno Fernandes, and St. Maximin. I think those five are going to be difficult to pack. I think every single other card will effectively be easy to pack. And those five that will be difficult to pack, I still think will be packable. I think Romero will come down in price a lot. Centre-backs don't really hold value, man, in this game. Like, they just don't. Like, he has got mad play styles, but, like, power head of play style plus. Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't really, uh, I don't really value it too much. Yeah, that's a, that's a mad, oof, communication problem. You've got St. Max from the Guaranteed. Oh, I should have bought more, uh, should have bought more Matthews Cunhas, shouldn't I? Oh, that, that Kai Havertz, guys, is like, I can't even explain how good that card is. Like, it, it, is, it is entirely, entirely likely that he'll get two upgrades as well. And very possibly quickly too, because they've got a game this weekend and then Chelsea on Wednesday. Like, it's very possible. I don't think it's probable. It's possible to have both upgrades by Wednesday. For an SBC, like, it's an elite player. Yo, GG's, man. That's some really good, uh, some really good pack luck there, man. Well played. Well played. Where's the guaranteed pack? You just get it for logging in, mate. That kind of makes me so happy they give you off for the Evo. Yeah, I, I didn't even really have it. The only other person I could have done for the Evo was like Zinchenko, but I probably wouldn't have used him. Wow, this guy's already packed four. Five. Jesus. That's quite mad. But yeah, I like the fact that that Kai's got left back as an option as well. I don't think I will be doing the. Uh, I don't think I'll be using the Evo Kai. All right, where is it? Live tots guarantee. Here we go. Come on, Spain striker. Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of this, Donny, the Aruka guy, and just like that, guys, just like that. Fifty-one minutes past six, and we're at a point where. The hype has already died, hasn't it? UCR upgrades as well. How? Um, but for me personally, the reason why the hype's died already is because it's just the same. It's just the same, isn't it? It's the same, same concept, same general principle, same, 
like it, like this game is crying out for like I don't think next Friday is going to be any better either because this game is crying out for like new game modes. I think that's that's why it's like the hype dies so quick. Maybe if you'd like maybe this is your first or second quit then fanny. Or Jack, you could just go and watch a different stream of me, right? Like you don't have to be like a toxic piece of crap because I'm sharing my opinion on the game, right? Um but it's just because it's like like I said like I think one of the reasons why a lot of these players are already dirt cheap is because people already have better players in their teams whether that be through some of the really cool promos that we've had some of the really cool evos that we've had some of the really cool SBCs that we've had and it's somewhat disappointing there's somewhat is somewhat disappointing the right here's our live team is guaranteed the three play style pluses isn't on every team of the season i think that would have made it a bit different oh we've got hincapier that's a that's a decent one to get i like like with hincapier right i just i just feel like three play style pluses should be the bare minimum um IMO. <laughs> you know, we're entering into a new phase now where you've got players like that Sobos like 200k. It's just it's a bit it's a bit different. Yeah, the ser the servers are a bit the servers are a bit hard right now. I hate to say I called it, but this was always going to happen. People are always going to be underwhelmed. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And I, I was, I was like half prepared for it. I don't know why. I, I was looking forward to Kai Havertz, and now that I've seen him, and I'm like, oh, I know now as well that like he's an SBC. He's got crazy stats. I, all, all, although I knew he was coming, I still even feel conflicted with the Evo Kai Havertz now. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is that I'm like, in my head, I'm like, what do I want? You know what I mean? Like, what would get me to the point where I'm like, oh, can't wait to play? Where's he 200k, mate? He's over a mil. Sobosly, he's 200k, pal. Literally 200,000 coins. We've got Santos there. Not bad. 92 rated. Upgradable to 94. Some cool stats. I think she's five star, five star as well. She's one of the, one of the better ones. That's not the best one, um, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, it, it's as I say. I'm, I'm like I'm not trying to be like down or whatever. By doing this, um, there's some cool players there. There really is. I really think the like the team of the season guaranteed is real cool as well like you know this is the first time they've ever done that but the fact that they've given a guaranteed team of the season kind of shows where the game is at doesn't it what would need to happen is be in a time machine to eight years ago because i think the nostalgia almost and i think that gets us aside true all right you can rip it brother that's okay as much as i like looking at this pack uh we better see what's in it there we go. Spain. Centre mid. Nice. Mikel Marino. A good card, to be fair. Well-rounded. Good playstyle pluses. Good playstyles in general. Is there an argument for being too many primers? I don't, like... So here, here's the thing, right? I really like the fact that there are a lot of cards and a lot of options. But it transitions to the problem, and the problem is the fact that people don't want to use them because there's only three game modes to play them. One of them is champs qualifiers, one of them is champs proper, and both of those game modes are not repeatable at all times. The other one is rivals, that is an intense sweat fest and very unenjoyable. And so you want to use your best team, right? 
it, we are crying out as we get another Rafa Mujica. We are crying out for EA to provide us with new game modes where using fun cards is still like it's still going to be sweaty because good players are still going to play the game mode, but they they need to give us a reason to use the fun cards. Basically, that that's has he got two of these team of the season packs? Oh, he's got a store pack. He's going for the century. He's going for the uh, the eighty one hundred pack. What would this mode look like? But for me, like for me personally, like champs qualifiers repeatable would be like a reasonable start because champs qualifiers is like generally the the kind of like least stressful hey he's got one the least stressful game mode cdm asked that uh coventry guy and it would and and yeah more challenges more milestones centered around the promos and things like that something where it's like you know play um I don't know, play 100 games with five team of the seasons in your starting lineup and throughout different phases, you get different rewards for it. Oh, two in there. Let's go. 50 duplicates, though. Damn, big du There's no way he's throwing away all of that. Oh, he's... What have I just seen? The game is just so pay to win. It's unbearable, though. This game is absolutely category categorically not pay to win. I'm c wait. Why would he throw away? <laughs> Why would he throw away all of the? Uh... Oh, this guy got Bruno Fernandes. Let's go, dude. GGs. Oh, that's from an eighty-three by ten. Let's go. Why would he throw away all of that good? Bother that could have stored. Ah, oh, Steph, I just deleted you, man. Send another, send another invite, and then save the the tr the duplicate stuff. That was so weird. Are the team of the season guaranteed a gifted pack? Yep, yep. All right, Richard, what you got, pal? Pay for convenience, not pay to win. <laughs> like, we had this debate. I can't remember if it was last year or earlier on in the game cycle. Okay, I don't think this guy's here. Um, we had this discussion. And there is def there, there at least was definitely an element to the game previously where it was kind of like pay to get an edge, pay to kind of like get the best team before you could with buy it with coins or pack it. But because of the menu grind recently and the promos like Golasso and a few other promos and stuff, you can get some of the absolute elite players in this game from SBCs and from like just grinding, share, grinding player picks and the daily content and things like that, right? You do not need like the, like, like Drogba, for example was like 200 and some odd K and very easy to pack. That's a really nice Evo, that one. Um, you, like, he will give you basically everything that you'll get from any single other striker on the whole entire game. Like, yeah, okay, Team of the Year Ronaldo might be marginally, marginally better. Team of the Year uh, Haaland might be marginally better. But you're like you're not getting much out of it right and so because of the SBCs, because of the ease of packing cars and stuff the whole pay to win thing is gone and i like it from ea and i think they finally realize that they can give people everything and they will still spend money on the store right they can give you the best start they can give you meta overpowered cards like crazy and they will still rush to the store to open the store packs And so I think what we're going to start seeing, and we're still... Wait, who the hell is that? Oh, it's Sobosly. There we go. And what we're seeing a lot more now is it's really easy, really easy to get the absolute best cards in the game. Really easy. Um, 
And so there's no, there's there, there is just no pay to win argument anymore in that regard. There just isn't. That's a really cool card to get. That Sobosla, I like him a lot. Um, let's do. Uh, it was Stefan because I deleted him by mistake. I'll do him next. Um, yeah, it's really easy to get the best cards in the game. So the pay, pay, pay to win. Like, if if you don't have the meta squad with you know Rolfo, Stanway, Drogba some version of Mbappe, like a Kanji's Evo centre-back card, um, like Cafu or Cole, like, like there are, like it was just so, so, so easy to build an intense meta team now. You just, yeah, like I, I wouldn't say it was 100% pay to win until for birthday. I still, like, I don't think this game is ever pay to win. I think it's just pay to, a, pay to increase your chance, right? Because, again, like the argument of you could give somebody very good at the game an average team and they would beat an average player with a very good team, right? So, like, pay to win isn't the fair representation. You kind of just pay to get an edge. Not pay to win, it's pay to get an edge. Like, that's how I would kind of further, like, how I would personally like further describe it. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I agree with the fact that until, like, um, kind of like, uh, but birthday, maybe the promo before. Oh, that's a nice pack, isn't it? That double, double delight for the exchange. Um, yeah, I, I, I just think uh, it's 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 e so easy to get the best cards. The end of the game, you can get Ronaldo. But Deep Crender, do you think Ronaldo would make you get twenty wins? And and like you can make a million coins a week every well you can make like two three four hundred thousand coins a week genuinely by just playing the game and not spending your coins. I think where a lot of people go wrong is that they waste their coins on senseless things that don't help improve their account or reach an end goal. You know, if if your goal, if your motivation was I want team of the year Ronaldo, right? Um, the icon Ronaldo. He's 9 million coins. If your sole intent on this game was to get him, you could probably get that 9 million coins maybe in like two months. Right? Or if you're real smart and you like put your head to the ground and, and learn some techniques on how to make lots of coins very easily, you could get that 9 million coins a lot easier than that. But if you get to like three, four, five hundred thousand 500,000 coins in your account and you're like, oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spend 100,000 on Evos. I'm going to spend 200,000 on Evos. I'm going to buy a store pack for 250k because it looks quite fun and worth a pack something big. You're, you're part of your own downfall. Two and a half months for 9 mil easy. Yeah, there you go. And now, now listen, of course, what, one, one thing as we get Weaver in the next one, one thing that's interesting is in two and a half months' time, Ronaldo probably won't be 9 million. He'll probably be 7 or 6 million, which means as you're progressing towards him, his price will be coming down. And you'll be getting, you know, like, closer to him quicker. But second of all, is Ronaldo's not going to be, like, your 20-win guy. You're not going to, like, if you're getting, like, 9 to 11 wins, you're not going to start getting 20 wins because you put Ronaldo into your team. You're going to get, like, 10 to 12 wins instead. Um... I'm selling around 2 million coins per week right now, just grinding the SBCs. Yeah, so the SBC grind is a good way to make coins. I made loads of coins, like, off just off of doing the Team of the Week upgrades. Again, it, like, like time, is a, time is an important factor. If you don't have time to spend on the game to a high degree, as we get another Weaver, um, if you don't have, like, high time to spend on the game, you're not going to be able to get Ronaldo. But I don't think you should be able to get Ronaldo. You know, I don't think you should be able to get the best players in the game if you're not putting the time into the game, right? It has to be, like, like EA are already giving you, like, 99.8% of anything you need. That 0.2%, yeah, you got to work for it. you got to work for it. No, but the thing is, Deep Crendo, it's not about, pa like, you don't make coins in this game by luck boxing a card that's worth 5 million and selling it in a tradable pack. That's not how you make coins in this game. You make coins in this game 
by being smart and efficient with how you manage your account, right? You can very easily make 50, 60,000 coins a day doing Team of the Week upgrades, right? You just can. It's just, it's just that possible. You can make coins from your, your Rivals rewards, your Champs rewards, your Squad Battles rewards, and your Champs Qualifiers rewards. You can make coins from marquee matchups. I don't even see what you got in the pack. You can make coins from marquee matchups. You can make coins from um, like investing, trading. You can make coins like a, a lot of the ways that people make coins. I've made my first set of coins from today doing this. I should have been doing this the whole year. I'd have anything I wanted on my account. But you can make coins from. He's got some really cool play styles, hasn't he? From getting a head start on knowing who the Evo is going to be. It's so easy to find the Evo leaks. And so once you see that Evo leak, you find which players are going to, people are going to be looking for, go and buy them in advance. Now all of a sudden you made a load of coins, right? It's, it's genuinely not difficult to make coins on this game. It just isn't easy either. It just requires some time and some thought. And that's where people don't want to do it. People just want it gifted to them, you know? Uh, Brody, thanks for the three months, man. Uh, Riffman, thanks for the two months. Castro Gold, thanks for the four months, brother. Yapa, thanks for the prime. Way we got a team of the season. If I miss, wait, has he got, no, Sheaf this time, isn't it? Not Loftus Cheek. Do I think Rio's worth it? I think he's too expensive, personally. Hunting and invested on live cards. Li I, I made a lot of coins off of live cards. Um, oh, wow, that Sheaf is a duplicate as well. Yeah, th there was, a, like, I made, I, I made a lot of coins on uh, Politano was one of the ones that I did. And, and again, it, it just took a little bit of, like, time and energy, right? Just a little bit of me looking at, oh, he's 87 rated. 89s were 12k more expensive than his 87 rated was. He was one specific set of things away from becoming an 89. I went and bought a load of him at 22k, sold them all off at 31k, made about 150k profit. It, it was that easy. And I, if you was looking, if, if you're like, okay, I can't get ahead on leaks. Wait, who the hell is that? Oh, I sat to... Uh, if you can't get ahead on leaks and you don't have the time to sit there grinding like the menus to get the tradable packs and stuff like that, what you could do right now is just go and look at the, the live team of the season, right? Go and, go and find the cheapest 90, which is, I think it's actually her, Turland. I don't know how good Brighton are or whatever, but she's 20,000 coins right now. I don't know what a 92 rated card is for value, but I guarantee you. If she becomes a 92 rated, she'll be more than 20,000 coins, right? At that point, you, you make a, a kind of like reasonable estimate, like a reasonable judgment call on, do you think she will be getting upgraded to a 92? If you do, go and buy loads at 20K because you're going to get, hey, there's Weaver again, because you're going to get 5K, 6K, 8K profit a card. If you bought 10 or 15 of them, you make 80K or 100K. That's banging. GG's L Sharp's about. Fantasy FC was so easy to make coins on because all the cards were fodder price and the rating increased, guaranteed price increased. Yep, precisely. And, and it's, it's maybe a little bit different now with Team of the Season, but I don't think by much. I don't know what, like I say, I don't know what the cheapest 92 rated card is to suggest that Turland could become like worth 30, 40, 50k. Brian Women is playing right now. Does that game count? Yeah, it should do. It should do. What's the score? Are they winning? Is, are they scored a lot of goals? We've got another Mikel Marino. 100k is nothing these days, though. Yeah, but... Uh, ooh, double, double team of the season. Let's go. 100k is nothing. Wow, that's really nice, isn't it? Two, uh, two 88s for the exchange as well. 100k is nothing in one moment. But if you're... Again, if your ultimate goal was to get, I don't know, Bruno Fernandes at 4 million coins, 100k is all of a sudden two... Like, what is it? Like... Two, two, wait, hold on. Yeah, two and a half percent, right? All of a sudden, that one thing has got you two and a half percent of the way to the Bruno Fernandes. If you then add in all of the other things that you can do every day and every week, it won't take you more than two to three weeks before you can afford to buy Bruno Fernandes. And then you get the, then, then you kind of come to more of the, the issue with the situation. Right, and the situation is wow. That guy's got a duplicate Loftus cheek. That's crazy. The situation is people don't want to wait two and a half weeks to play a Bruno Fernandez. They want him right now, 
And that's when people say silly things like this game is pay to win or it's impossible to get the best things in this game because it's not impossible. It just takes time and like you just you just can't have it immediately unless you want to spend some money. If you spend some money, you can absolutely like expedite that process. Is it just, what is it Ruben Loftus cheek day or what? But if you don't spend the money, you've got to put the time in, right? I think it's, I genuinely think it's like that simple. Yeah, simple club management goes a long way and people just don't realise it. I'm going to start this, maybe this weekend, maybe not, because we've got a lot of time for champs now. Because uh, champs runs till like Tuesday, like Wednesday morning, but Tuesday night, ideally. Um, I'm going to do a team of the season RTG. And I'm very confident that within 12 hours on the account, I'll have a full team of the season car- uh, account. Uh, a full team of the season team. GG's Richard out. I wish you could make more coins playing the actual game. In terms of match coins, I don't think it would be positive because it would just hyperinflate cards, right? You'd be in the same situation. Your coin per card is worth the same now as, like, if EA doubled the coins you earn from matches, the player that you want would, in theory, double in price. Maybe not exactly double in, in price, but in theory, it would double in price, right? Um, but, what people really don't appreciate is that you can make coins from playing games. Go and do your daily play. You get your 285 fives, your 82 by twos, or your 8 by twos, or whatever. Go and open those packs. Go and put the content that you get out of those packs in a Team of the Week upgrade. From the Team of the Week upgrade, you get two uh, tradable packs. From those two tradable packs at discard price, you get 4,000 coins. But, ooh, oh, it's Team of the Season guaranteed. But if you sold everything, you might be able to squeeze out like 6,000 coins. But. If you hit something lucky, you might get twenty or 30,000 coins. And that's from playing the game, right? Another Mikel Marino there. And so, yeah, it's... It's Guardian. So it's not, you know... It, like... You know, the, the phrase like, look after the pennies and the pounds will look after themselves. Or, like, you know, save the pennies and the pounds will look after themselves. It was mad to me when I started grinding the menus properly a couple of weeks ago. Is that Romero? Oh! Um, it was mad to me when I started grinding menus a couple of weeks ago how I did, you know, one day I did like eight Team of the Week player picks. I packed a couple of like uh, Team of the Weeks tradable from it. I ended up making about 110,000 coins from those, those packs from do, putting my own tradables into player picks. It was mad. And I was like, oh, damn. That, that was the 100,000 coins I needed because I had no coins left. That was the 100,000 coins I needed for uh, the evolution that I wanted to do because I had no coins. And I was like, damn, that's, that's incredible. Um, once shares are done, shall we do an Evo video now? Get people to send their Evo chain. Uh, yep, yep, I'm down for that. Yeah, guys, so if, uh, we're gonna, we've got two more packs to go. Um, if you guys are watching this on the SharePlay channel, let me know what you think down below. Get involved in the discussion. I know sometimes people are just here and they just want to see the reactions to the packs. Um, it's a bit hard to get hype reactions over, you know, a sheaf or whatever. Um, and then last but not least, is that another Bruno? Okay, I have a feeling he's going to be uh, he's going to be quite common then. If we've already seen two of him, I think he's going to be quite common. And so his price point that's now wow, yeah, he's wow. So the the player, even even the players I was talking about, right? Modric and Fernandez being two of the big ones. Modric is already down to two point six million now. Bruno Fernandez is already down now to 3.5 million. So that when we're saying about like you know Bruno Fernandez at four and a half million, he's already a million coins down. Um. And so yeah. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video for today. Let me know what you got in your pack down below. Let me know your thoughts on the discussion we had here today about actually grinding towards a player that you want versus like wasting time on your account. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you next time. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, you know United are crap. I don't, I don't know if it's that. Chair.
know what's weird? When a new card of a player comes out, his old card coming out like nothing. I just packed back to back Modric informs from the inform pack. I, I, I would say that that's more. Uh, um, Yeah, I'd say it's just like coincidence more than anything. Damn it, that's bored. Jump out part A. Dumbass part A. I, I think deep the the reason why the chat was talking to you like they was talking to you is because you was talking to them like you was talking to them. You know, I think if you came in with a bit more of a stable like guys, I really want Bruno Fernandez. I don't know how to get him. Any advice on like making coins because I'm struggling to find ways. I think people would have responded to you a lot differently, but you came in with like a a massive attitude and started calling people names and then didn't like it when they called your names back. Servers of talk, they are. The team of the year is dropping in price. Yeah, it was, it, it was, it was going to happen. What do I make of the Havertz SBC? It's banging, in it? Banging. Maybe we'll do uh, Evos tomorrow, Josh. Tomorrow lunch. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll do it. Like the fact that people haven't even uh, sent one in. A beach, thanks for the prime, brother. Rogene, thanks for the five, man. This is one of my issues with the game. Keyword game. What you're describing is a second job. It's not this complex in GTA, COD, the crew, etc. But but you're wrong, Rogene, right? You're wrong. In COD, for you to get the... Um, what's the dark camo called? What's that like camo that requires a thousand headshots on every gun attachment on every gun? A thousand kills here, like Obsidian, yeah. For you to get Dark Matter or Obsidian or Interstellar, you can't just show up, kill a couple of people, and be like, hey, look at my skin. It takes you a long fucking time to get it. A long time. Even on, like, GTA. Like, you can't just roll up into the GTA, like, online world and have millions of dollars. You've got to start your businesses, do your, do your uh, um, missions and things like that. You don't just get it, right? Like, the, the, the games you've given there are a perfect example of why FIFA is the way it is as well. Because you can get most of everything you want in this game very easy, but some of it is very hard. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm just going to rip my three player picks right now because I can't wait and I feel like I'm going to get a team of the season right now. I have to do it. Yeah, see, bomb, bomb, bomb. Give me that weaver. First team of the season straight away, baby. Let's go. <laughs> two for two. Never mind. I'll take Trent. And number three. Come on, give me a blue. Give me a big one. Give me Modric. Give me Modric. Ooh. Oh my days, that's awful. At least I got one, I suppose. All right. Uh, guys, if you've got some Evo chains, some cool Evo cards that you want to show me, from the new um, the new attacking mid connection and defensive mid connection show me oh, oh my days does ooh Russo and Ford both fit into this damn that's all right, isn't it? 
yeah, I'll, I'll look on DG to start the video. Josh, you can put that. You can like plug this bit in afterwards. Declan Rice fits into it. I don't think I'd use this Rice though because I'd just be better off getting his better card, wouldn't I? Yeah, it's just it's just not good enough. Just not good. Enough. I only want to see your Evo chains, guys. With uh, you, you, you could just like send the images as well. I only want to see the Evo chains with um. The new Evos. So this guy's got Cole Palmer. Five star, five star. Great pace. Oh my days. Look at that shooting. Great shooting. Great dribbling. Low reactions. Decent passing. Poor physicals. Very good play styles. Every single passing play style. That is so good. Relentless and press proven as well. That is honestly a banging card. That is a banging card. Bro, Gene, thanks for the five, man. And how long are those games around for? Because I spend the whole year grinding for R9 to reset at the end of the year. I just don't think you do. I don't think you spend the whole year grinding for R9. And you can still play this game next year and the year after and the year after. You can still play with your R9, right? Uh, Mod Nook Pack, thanks for the 58 months, man. Much appreciated, bro. Um, like, like, I get the point you're trying to make, right? But also, at the end of the day, nobody's actually grinding this game for 12 months to get an R9. Yeah, COD is also like a, a yearly release as well. Oh, Godcatch had a, uh, must have had an Evo as well for us. Oh, he's in the. Oh, there you go. Yeah, don't don't worry about the party. Go catch. I'll, I'll check your. I'll check your Evo out here. I want, like I mostly want to see as well. I don't, I don't want to see like base cards that have been Evoed up. I want to see like a card that you've previously Evoed that you're re Evoing into one of these because I think there's uh there's some really good cards that could be made. So you have got Lucia Garcia, five star, five star, high low. That's a good card, isn't it? Great pace, great shooting, great dribbling. Good passing, not the best physicals. Good play styles. That's a fun card, man. That's a fun card. That's a good one. That is a good one. We've got, start from the bottom, Smart Hyun. Yeah, and that, that well, that, wow. Wait, that's that uh, De Bruyne from week one, isn't it? Jesus Christ. You know what? That card becomes mad. Passing and dribbling is very, very good. A little, little heavy on agility and balance. Decent physicals. Good pace. Good shooting. Yeah, that De Bruyne is nice. Yeah, that's just this Evo, yeah. Got here. Dervis or glue. Yeah, this, this de I mean, cards like this as well definitely lend into why... Some of these team of the season cards are like bottom feeder prices. Great pace, great shooting, great dribbling. Vision, passing is good. I want to see more on him. What has he got? Five star. He's going to be five star, four star off the back of that as well. How many play styles will he have? 11 play styles. We don't see the play styles. Or oh, maybe you put him in the first one. Oh man, he did. Again, that is a really nice card. His passing is a little weak as well in certain areas, but he's got four passing play styles. That is a really, really cool card. GG's, man. That, that's a banger, that is. That's a banger. Next up, Statch. I think this was just his base card he voted, wasn't it? Not even that good of a card, to be fair. Two star fire star, yeah, so that's a bit of a bit of a stinker. Maybe it wasn't his uh, base card. Uh, when was that sent? A decent card for Undav. Five star five. Star. Oh, he gets four star five star after that. That's pretty cool. Finesse shot plus and uh, rapid plus. Four star five star. The Undav is definitely better than the Statch there. That Statch is a bit meh. Especially with a two-star, five-star. All right, we've got... Ba 
Ben Rama. Not a bad card. Bit 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 stinky. For a 90 rated as well with two playstyles, you're gonna find it hard to Evo him again anytime soon. His dribbling's nice, low reactions, low composure, physicals are a bit meh. Passing's okay. Shooting from range is decent. Pace is good, but a bit of a weird split. That's not a bad card, though. It's a fun one, that's for sure. Fun one. Is that another one of the uh, Lucia Garcia's? Oh, no, Toon. She's had a couple of absolutely banging, banging Evos. Brilliant play styles, especially for a cam. Those passing play styles and ball control play styles are amazing. Low agility, otherwise insane dribbling. Great shooting, good pace, good passing in the right areas. And then five star, four star. That's a really cool card. That's a really cool one. Oh, is that another one? Yeah, it is, yeah. It's the same card. It's not the same, not the same person, but it is the same card. Carlinhos. Oh, look at that. Now, whoever has a count I'm on here, pop in your chat with me right now. Is this a glitched Evo? Or is this a genuine upgrade after some other Evos? Because that card is wild. Low uh, composure, but insane dribbling, insane passing, great shooting, especially from range, great physicals, great pace. It's not glitched. He's from Centurions, is he? Wow. It's genuine. Wow. This might be, and now he gets four star, five star. This might be one of my favorite Evos ever. He's got four passing play styles as well. Bruiser, Relentless, First Touch, and now Rapid Plus. That is an absolute banger. And the greatest thing about this card is he only has one play style plus. So he's going to be, it'd be difficult maybe, but he will eventually be eligible for another Evo to get that second play style plus, maybe another small stat boost. Oh, that's a huge card. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. What next? I think that's another, uh, another tune. Here. Ginny, good physicals, good passing, decent enough dribbling. Dribbling is quite weird because in previous years, for me, reactions and composure used to be so, so valuable. Composure actually this year is a lot less valuable thanks to uh, time shooting. And I think reactions are even a lot less valuable thanks to certain play styles. Passing is brilliant, shooting is terrible, pace is not the best. Decisive pass plus, ping pass, anticipate, and uh, rapid with relentless intercept and slide tackle. That's a, that is a nice card. That's a fun card. And do you know what's good about this card as well? You know what's fun about this card? You can use him towards McGinn because he's Scottish, which is great. That's a good one. What balding? We've got Castellanos. Great shooting, great pace, great dribbling. Well, not great pace, great passing, great dribbling, good physicals. The fun card, 10 play styles as well, including quick step and rapid plus. Some good passing play styles, some good ball control play styles. It's a very good card, very good card, that one. She's had a few good cards already before, hasn't she? Here, oof, wow. Is this a legit, a legit card as well? Like that dribbling is insane. Shooting's good, passing's good, physical's good, pace is good. Double play style plus, five star, four star. Only Tiki Taka as a passing play style is a bit of a letdown for a cam. But otherwise that card is banging. 
That's a base upgrade from one of his specials. Next up. McGregor, another Scottish player. Insane dribbling. Good physicals. Good passing in the right areas for him as well and good pace. Jockey plus and incisive pass plus as well. That's pretty good with good defending stats too. Four star, five star, very nice. Anticipate. Oh, that's a good card. I, I bet you he is banging in game. Relentless plus. Press proven. Anti sorry, relentless. Press proven, anticipate. Quick step. Tiki Taka ping pass, finesse shot, incisive plus, and jockey plus. That is a very good card. That is a very good card. How long have we been going here? I'm, I'm not going to be able to get through all of them uh, today, I'm afraid, guys. What have we got here? Oyen. The, the, these are the sort of cards where I like. I'm, I wish EA would just give just an Evo that is completely open for like plus ten composure or plus ten reactions. That's all it gives. Just plus ten to one of like these key stats because this guy's dribbling is brilliant. His passing's good. His shooting's very good. His pace is banging. But those reactions and composure just turn me off massively. Really nice playstyle combination there as well. Really good setup of playstyles. And then four star, four star. That's a really cool card. That's a really cool card. What have we got here. Elliot 89. Bit stinky, that card. Average pace, poor shooting, good passing and dribbling, poor defending, poor physicals. And then Bacecic. Good passing, decent dribbling. Decent physicals and defending. Decent pace. Dead ball plus and, plus and incisive plus. Yeah. They're primed for like maybe a few more Evos. What have we got here? Recognize this. Oh, Buena Norte. See, again, look at that. Crazy dribbling apart from reactions and composure. Awful defending and physical. Very good passing. Very good shooting and good pace. Travella and Rapid plus. I mean, this card is banging again. It, it's mad, right? Because only over the last few weeks as I've been paying attention to certain aspects of the game have I realized and recognized how influential passing playstyles are. And I honestly think, especially, of course, for midfielders, the passing playstyles are just imperative to playing this game at a good level. Things like Press Proven and Relentless are also super handy, especially for like creative midfielders and stuff. Technical is very good as well. But having every single passing play style is, is amazing. And he's got really good, uh, really good stats otherwise. That's a really cool card. Uh, 89 Ahmad. Can we see his uh, stats, please, Newport Vlogger? Five star, five star is nice. Playstyles are quite nice. Not too many of them, but he's actually got a good, good combination of playstyles. Tiki Taka, Whip Pass, Relentless, and uh, Technical is good. He's got great pace and great dribbling. Bad passing, bad shooting, bad physical, bad defending otherwise. Playing with a team of rare Evo such as Matoma, Cash, Layman, Sobosh, Libraries, Elite on PC and only showed him in Discord. I won't be using Discord ones for today, uh, I'm afraid, Tata. Jeez. Wait, what happened to the stats at the top? Why does it look weird? Oh, it's another Cole Palmer. Yeah, the, part, the Palmer cards are very good. There's a lot of them. What have we got here? Another Minu. Great physicals. Great dribbling. Great passing. Great pace. Not the best defending or shooting. 
12 play styles. Is this, this is a glitch Devo, isn't it? Mad that he fits in though, isn't it? Got some really nice play styles. That is a really cool card. Anticipate plus as well. That low defending is very good. That's a cool card. Razor Cameo. We have got Dun. Dun, 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 dun. Very good stats there as well. Great pace passing and dribbling for her. I feel like this is a base card being Evo though, rather than a, an Evo chain. Good play style as well. Good play style combination on her too. You don't think that Minu's glitched? Wow. Uh, let's ban that Paul on YouTube. Thanks, mods. Appreciate it. We've got Kai Havertz. Bit. Kind of, kind, of, kind of a bit pointless, isn't it? Five star, five star. Super nice. But now that he's got that SBC, that's base done through two Evos. Yeah. Look at this. Bruna, wow, that's an interesting card. Damn, for an 87 rated, she's got some mad stats. Great pace, great shooting, but no shot power. Decent passing, great dribbling, but no balance. Don't need balance, really, when you've got technical uh, play style. Very, very interesting card, that one. Very interesting card. Five star, four star as well. Very cool. Very cool. Four card. That, I mean, that card will still be fun in-game. It will still be usable in-game. We've got Scott McDominay. A. Great physicals. Good passing in the right areas. Dribbling's a bit heavy. Very good defending. Very good shooting from range. Not a lot of play styles. But very good play styles. Anticipate ping pass, incisive pass, and quick step. That's very good play styles, to be fair. Four, five star. Oh, that's uh, Diallo. Five star, four star. Don't know which one he is uh, there. Did we look at the Diallo? Oh, yeah, we already looked at it. We? Rainer. Very good card. And Torre. Is that base Torre that fits in there, isn't it? Or like the, the, the 86 Torre. What was that guy saying? Yeah, very, very weird. Base Torre fits both, does he? Need some work on defending for this card. I will do just a couple more, I'm afraid, guys, because I'm going to intro the video and, and go from there. Yeah, it does need a bit of defending. Great physicals. Low vision, but good passing. Low dribbling as well. Good pace. Good play styles too. Ping pass, incisive pass plus. Anticipate, and obviously you get the, the three play styles there from it. The three play styles they give with that one is very good, isn't it? Quick step, anticipate, and ping pass. They're very, very good card. They're very good play styles to get. They're very good play styles to get. Right, we'll go until I see one more like absolutely incredible, uh, incredible card, a unique one. A woo. I mean, this might be it. Wow, looks glitched, but might not be. Looks glitched because ninety nine physicals, but all of the other stats are pretty mediocre. Good pace, obviously, is a centre back. With a shadow chem style on him, he'd actually be crazy. Really good dribbling for a centre-back. Good passing for a centre-back. And great play styles. Again, with Anticipate Plus as well. That's a fun one. That's a fun one. Here we go. I'd, ra I'd rather see a proper card. Sorry, brother. Thanks for sending it, mind you. Chubby Chub, here we go. Yeah. 
that's banging in it. What's this player? Is it was he player of the month? What what is it? What's this card come from? That dribbling is insane. Passing is insane. Shooting is insane. Pace is very good, but a weird split. Physical is very very good. Finesse shot, ticky tacker, power shot, incisive, technical, first touch, press proven, and rapid plus. And he's got five star skill moves, but only three star weak foot. That's a banging card, guys. There's been some great ones here. As always, if you want to see more of the evolutions, let me know in the comment section below. I could inform 81 in Centurions and then upgraded. Fair enough. Um, if you want more of these videos, I can, I can upload this kind of video every three or four days. It's just only if there's an appetite for it. So if you want to see people's cool Evo cards, let me know down below. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace. There's a bunch of 85s that go through informs and unleashing potential and then this Evo. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Guys, thanks to, for sending them through. Sorry I couldn't get to everyone. What we're going to do now is go and have a look on foot.gg at some of the uh, the best options that are just on foot.gg. And I'll intro the video. Um, have you got some you wanted to send me at all, Josh? What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. Today for Team of the Season Live, EA released two brand new evolutions, defensive mid connection and attacking mid connection and they give some really cool evos. They're reasonably loose on who you can put in. You know, the max overall is now 87, which seems to be a standard for what EA are doing with these. Um, the Playstyle Pluses as a max one is a bit of a pain, especially because we now have three Playstyle Plus cards officially in the game. It wouldn't have hurt to allow two Playstyle Plus players in here. And they give not only really good boosts, but I think for the first time in a very long time, the combination of Playstyles that these two Evos give are phenomenal. For the attacking mid, it gives first touch, Tiki Taka, Rapid Plus. And of course, Tiki Taka is a really good Playstyle coupled with first touch for those quick first time passes even in difficult situations but for me the best one is the defensive mid connection it gives anticipate ping pass incisive pass plus and quick step and it gives a one star weak foot as well so you can get like some five star weak foot midfielders now that will be great defensively and really good at passing the ball and so we're going to take a look at some of the best chained options that you can do right now in game by using both of these Evos and maybe some of the other ones that we've got available. They work very, very well at the moment to be coupled with formidable inform uh, because there's a lot of really good informs that can be popped in there first and then into one or even both of these. So let's take a look at some players. Oh, yeah. Have a look at Yaya in both. Oh, so Fekir we already look at in the uh, in the video at some point. So some of the best ones, guys, uh, that we we can look at, and we briefly touched on one of these in the six pm content video, is the Matthews Cunha attacking mid connection. I mean, this card becomes what looks like elite, and it it gives more of an understanding as to why some of the team of the season cards are actually quite cheap because he gets five star, four star with great dribbling aside from balance, great shooting, good passing, great physicals, good pace, great play styles. Honestly, Travella Plus, maybe Travella Plus is not as good as it used to be a few months back. It got nerfed and it hasn't really like come back into, into the forefront of the gameplay at the moment. Um, but to have Rapid Plus, Power Shot, Ping Pass, Tiki Taka, First Touch with this, and this is just him, his inform straight into the Evo with an engine chem style, you've got insane pace, insane passing, insane dribbling, great shooting, very good physicals, and very good play styles. It's a really cool card. We've got Xavi Simmons Roads to the Knockout, I believe this one is. Goes into the attacking mid connection. Another one that becomes five star, four star with very elite pace and very elite dribbling. He's got good passing, good shooting, and good physicals. But one thing that I've personally experienced and noticed in the game over the last uh, like month or so is that I would much rather somebody with 89 short pass, 88 long pass, and 88 vision that has, for example, tiki-taka, or like ping pass, or incisive pass, or long ball pass, 
than somebody that has like mid 90s for passing but doesn't have the play styles. I think the play styles really, really help. And uh, this Simmons, very good. He doesn't have the most play styles, which is a bit of a bit of a pain. And I would definitely give him a maestro to get those reactions up, get that dribbling to being elite. The shooting becomes way, way better, well balanced. He's all, already got great pace, great stamina, great aggression, and gets very good passing. And, and with a maestro, I think he becomes another an absolutely elite card. And what you'll probably see, and you might be worth checking your clubs here as well, guys, is the prices of these players. Simmons was 130k throughout the last sort of 12 or so hours. Says he's 140k now. I wonder if, no, he's 220. Somebody must have listed him cheap by mistake. Didn't realize the price had changed. But he's gone way up in value. So if you do have, who has tradable cards in their club? I don't know. But if you do have tradable version of him, it might be worth going and selling him. We've also got Sobol Schleier. So he can go into unleashing potential first and then into attacking mid connection. What's really interesting about this card is it is very, very comparable to his brand new card. The difference, of course, is the brand new card has got three Playstyle Pluses and is also live. It's upgradable. But the 91 Sobol Schlei has the same pace, more shooting, more passing, more dribbling, but less physical, but also has a whole array of Playstyles, which is incredible. Uh, one of the same Playstyle Pluses as the 90. And you might even see this price here and be like, wow, that's cheap. I think one of the reasons why this is so cheap is because set piece plus is it's it's actually a very good playstyle plus, but it's one of the least used because it doesn't happen in play. It happens at set pieces, of course, and so you don't get to use it as often as as other playstyle pluses. Even though this sober size is very good, this ninety one version that you can create is such a good card. He's got great shooting, especially from range, great passing, good physicals, good pace, great dribbling. And I think an engine chem style makes this an absolute elite level card with five star skill moves. And it still has incredible play styles as well. Whip pass, tiki taka, set piece, flare, which I don't personally like, power shot, technical, first touch, rapid, rapid plus, excuse me, and Traveller plus <clears throat> is very good. And I wonder what his price point of this has uh, done. Because his team of the season is out, it might not have moved very much. It did. It went up to. It did go up to 100k initially. It's now about 90k, which is still absolutely banging. Uh, again, if you had him, especially if you had him here at the 55k mark, is very good. And then we've also got John Barnes for the attacking mid connection. Um, icons are a bit weird for evos like this. They obviously still keep the chemistry, which is very good. Uh, John Barnes. I don't, I don't. I'm not like a massive fan of this card. I don't know why, I just don't really like icons, but otherwise it's very good. Five star, four stars, great. His play styles are brilliant. And with an engine chem style, he's got insane pace, insane dribbling, very good passing, good physicals and good shooting. I feel like it would probably be a waste putting it on this card. I think there's some better options, but I obviously would much more prioritize putting it on an already evoed card. But Barnes is a really, really nice option. more first group of cams removed a lot of the chains of unleashing potential even that. second whoop trying to trying to do me in there so you want me to look at the uh oh no notable players i think notable players i won't do i don't want this to be like a, a 45 minute video i think we'll just do the um the big players. And who 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 is it that's got is it who is it you're trying to link me there, Landon Donovan? What's the Evo chain for Donovan guys that's getting him uh getting him banging? Is it this chain here? Club ninety nine shooting, unleashing potential and attacking mid. I mean that is a wild card, isn't it? An S shot plus, five star, four star. Rapid plus, power shot, tiki taka, first touch, Traveller, 99 shooting, 89 stamina, engine chem style gives him insane pace, insane dribbling, perfect shooting, and great passing. And it only costs the cost of Donovan plus 75,000 coins. That is an unbelievable chain to get Landon Donovan to being very, very, very good. We've also got Sergio Gomez, future stars. A lot of people use these 82 Future Stars in SBCs, 
which is a bit of a shame because they've got obviously really nice boosts from their base cards. You can put now Sergio Gomez into defensive mid connection first and then into fullback swap. He gets four star, five star, anticipate, jockey plus, ping pass, quick step, flare, who cares, and then incisive pass plus. And with a shadow chem style, great pace, great defending, good physicals, good passing, very good dribbling. I mean, that is a very good card and has CDM and right back because of the, uh, the fullback swap option. So with a five-star weak foot, you can play him either side. That is a genuinely banging card. I think the only thing this card is missing is like a whip pass or a whip pass pass or a long ball pass. Otherwise, that is an elite option. We've got Ramirez in the CDM version. So he goes into defensive mid-connection. Absolutely banging play styles. Four-star, four-star. Shadow chem style is top-end pace. Great defending, great physicals, good passing, reasonable dribbling. Nothing crazy, uh, and shooting's not the best. But that's a fun card. If you've got this, I don't know how much this Ramirez is these days. He's gone up that much because of this Evo. That's mad. That's mad, isn't it? He's like almost doubled in price. I didn't expect that. Because I feel like this card was like so common at like 40k. That's crazy. We've got Kamavinga, his ice card. First of all, what's his price done then? Mm, it's been all over the place anyway. It hasn't really gone up that much. I think a lot of people might pack this card, but the 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 play the the Evo gives him four star, four star. Great, very very good passing, good pace, good defending, good physicals, good dribbling, insane playstyle collection there. Aerial, quick step, technical, flair, bruiser, anticipate, block, jockey, long ball pass, ping pass. Press proven and incisive pass plus. This card in terms of the actual stats isn't like elite in any way. He's got very good pace, great defending and very good passing. His physicals and dribbling are good, not great. But because of that monster collection of very, very good play styles, like the only play style he has that isn't good is flair. All of the other play styles are absolute top tier. And it honestly makes this card... One of my favorite to see in this Evo because I think people might overlook him because his stats don't become like all mid to high 90s everywhere. But that playstyle collection is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And before we can let him go and look at some viewer cards from Evo, uh, Evo chains, we've got Enzo Fernand. And of course, let me know down below, guys, who you're going to put into this, uh, into this Evo. Enzo Fernandez becomes three star, five star. Very, very good passing, good physicals, good dribbling. Shadow on him, very good pace, great defending, good physical, great passing, decent shooting from range, decent dribbling, but once again, lots of play styles. Travella, quick step, press proven, first touch, flare again, who cares? Slide tackle, which is actually good, anticipate is good, long ball and ping pass. Relentless Plus, which is amazing, and Incisive Pass Plus, and another card where I think his stats are probably a little bit better than Camavinga's for me, especially that passing is very, very, very good. The only downside to this card is he only has three-star skill moves, but using him as a defensive midfielder to just like move the ball on or try and win the ball back, what an absolutely banging card. If you're a Chelsea fan, this would be a must for me. This would be an absolute must. And then. Lorpa. Before we before we go and look at some viewer cards, guys, we're going to look at Lorpa, Sandro Lorpa. So I guess he goes into the formidable inform first, and then defensive mid. Oh my days! Only two star, four star, but with a shadow, top pace, top defending, great physicals, great passing, very good dribbling, and very good play styles. He doesn't have any bad play styles. He's got a couple of the absolute elite play styles. That is a phenomenal card. That is a phenomenal card. Four-star weak foot as well is very good. And you know what? His skill moves don't even matter. He plays at centre-back. So you, you, you just you drop him into centre-back. You've got... If he's, if he's taller than like 6'1", this is going to be one of the best, best centre-backs that you can use. How tall is this, this Donny? He is 6'1". Fair play, man. And that is why, even for somebody like him, who's just some rando Donny from uh, Young Boys in a Swiss League, 
He's gone up like what five six k for his card. Absolutely banging. With that, guys, let's go and have a look at some of the viewer cards that they have done through chain evos using these brand new evos. Look at Yaya. Yeah, Yaya fits into both. For me personally, the heroes and the icons. I don't like putting into these Evos. I know he fits in both. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is about the heroes and icons. Hammer, thanks for the two, brother. Balls, Fett, and Quinton Timber, both in form, can go into both. Yeah, I was, we, we actually looked at uh, Timber earlier, Josh, didn't we? For Quinton Timber. Did he go into a uh, yeah, defensive and attacking? Becomes 4-5. Very good play styles. That, that, that is a really, really cool card. Great dribbling, great pace, good defending, great physicals, great passing. It's very good. It is very good. Can't decide between Caicedo and Endo. I think Enzo Fernandez's uh, play styles are very, 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 very good. Uh, yeah, so I think for tomorrow lunch, Josh, I'll do a video just chatting about team of the season and like the, the people's first thoughts and things like that. That's in Josh edits for the Evo stuff. Can I check team of the week, Fred? He's very good. He's very good. Yeah, that's a banging card, man. That's that's the thing about like this is like it go it goes back to what I was talking about during the uh, the share plays video, guys. Right? Is there are some first of all there are some really really fun cards in general that I would like this card here, for example. Right? I would honestly love to have some games with this card. Just to see how does it play, right? Four star, five star, some really good stats in some key areas, some great play styles. But I can't Evo him and the players that I want. And it's one of those things where it's like, maybe like an idea for EA would be like Evo loans, right? Imagine just being like, let me put this player into this Evo pay a fee, 10,000 coins or something like that. Put him th Don't even have to Evo him. It just automatically becomes this. You get five games with it, and then it goes back to his base card. And then you'll be like, okay, now I know I want to complete this Evo, so I'm going to put him in there. That sort of thing would be real cool. Dennis Zarkaria. You want to inform... Dennis, this one, wow. Yeah, that's a banging card, isn't it? Three star, four star, but great physicals, great passing, great dribbling, great defending, great pace. Good play styles as well. Evo Party 8. Yeah, my Evo Party fits. But. One of the issues I have is that I think even when he fits, I don't think he's good. It's just a poor card. He's got great passing, very good dribbling outside of agility and balance, good physical, good defending, weird pace split. But press prove and anticipate, long ball ping passing and size to pass plus. Three star force. It's just not a great card, is it? Just not a great card. Declan Rice is an interesting one because four star weak for all of a sudden on him. Very good passing. Again, good dribbling, but heavy agility and balance. But he gets great defending, very good physicals, a much better pace split, and has very good play styles. He's probably going to be the player that I use. 
because those play styles actually make him super usable. Incisive Pass Plus and Press Proven Plus with Anticipate, Block, Jockey, Bruiser, Long Ball, and Ping Pass. That's very good. Ulti. Ulti. She'd only have one play style plus still as well if I put her in this. Five star weak foot. Good pace. Banging passing. Dribbling's a bit there. Good defending. Physical's a bit there. Play styles are very good though. Very good play styles. Yeah, could play the Rice at centre-back in-game and put a Kivior into the midfield for sure. Like, like, of those options, I think Thomas Party is a no-go. Walty's okay. I oh, know that would be our first play style plus, which would be all right. Rice is a good option. I don't think I'd do Ruben Moy because she's a bit too... Uh, a bit too slow. Four-star weak foot. Damn. As far as a centre back goes, she's a bit too short, but not bad actually for for Wubba Moy. But for the attacking connection, who do I have available? I had some good players available here actually, but they don't have play styles. Why is it showing me? Uh... <clears throat> Can't remember. Team of the week rice not better than the one that one to Evo. Maybe, but I don't have the team of the week rice. Oh, my games crashed. Brilliant. Have you used unleashing? If not, you could get a card on unleashing to get an extra boost. Uh, I think so, yeah. But who did I use unleashing potential? I'll use it on Kivior. Uh, I didn't look at Kaiseido surprise mechanic, no. No, I've got Atomic Ace, which I won't use. Ultimate Champions, which I will use. Formidable Inform, which I don't really have. I could put my Midamar is probably who I'd use on that. <clears throat> Showdown winners, I don't have because of Crossard. And what have we got here? Yes, yeah, so I've got. I don't know why it keeps showing me Fabio Vieira because he's got two playstyle pluses, but I've only got a couple of options for the attacking one Russo or Ford. I think Russo could be good. Four-star, four-star all of a sudden, which is way better. Great shooting. Otherwise, just not good. Good double manum. Is that right? Yeah, the other one I've got is Ford. I, th I think it'll be Ford in, Ford in here. Ford becomes Tiki Taka, Quick Step and Rapid, First Touch, Five Star, Three Star. Very good dribbling, good stam. Positioning shot power, sorry, positioning, finishing long shots, very good. Pace is very good. Passing is decent. And then we're, yeah, I don't know. Bo both of them are a bit meh. I don't know if I'd. It's, it's weird right now as well because even for the uh, CDM one, <clears throat> like Declan Rice would be good, but his um, fantasy card is just crashing in price constantly. He's down to 790k now for the fantasy card, which is way better. Has nine more pace, ten more shooting, six more passing, four more dribbling, two more defending, four more physical. Has anticipate and intercept plus. Is four star, four star. 
and has way better play styles. Surely he gets team of the season as well. I, I, don't, I don't know if he will, actually. I don't know if Bryce will. We've packed sheep five times already now. I've got a... Uh, I'm going to do... Um, RTG I need to do. I want to do some games on the RTG. I've got a choice, guys. Either I do a draft... Um, I either do a draft... Don't give me a blue. Yeah. Or I do some team, some RTG stuff. Oh my! What a pack! Go, oh, give me that exchange, baby. Thinking of opening everything under eighty twos, but I'm holding most packs. Yeah, I've, like I'm probably going to do like exchange into picks, exchange into picks, exchange into picks. Got to, got to do this, Kai Havertz. He's gonna be done. <laughs> I might open packs just to get him done. To be fair, draft. Yeah, I'm going to do a draft. Put the games on. Come back on for you guys. EA gave us a draft token today as well. Actually, didn't they? So I don't even have to pay for the draft. What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another draft video. Team of the season live is here. There is a whole bunch of team of the season cards to use there's probably like six or seven really really elite ones that i want to use and want to try and so you know the rules we are going to build a draft and keep building a draft until we get some team of the season cards more specifically the forwards and midfielders because that's who we want to experience and experiment with but uh, there's also a few uh well i actually don't think there's a few fullbacks that i want to see i just want the uh the team of the season midfielders wingers and attackers and uh, of course if you guys are enjoying the content you want to drop a thumbs up it would be very much appreciated uh, our striker choice isn't too great here van nistroy is there with a very good combination of first touch plus and power shot plus and it's the four star five star one as well so we'll take him for up front and alongside him is gonna go thank god there's no team of the season there because i really want to use this thierry Henry. um five star four star Wow, that play style, that chem style, sorry, Catalyst is banging for him. Great dribbling, great pace, great shooting, great passing, and very good physicals as well. Very nice. Insert coin sponsor, use code NET for checkout. Off and buy the bomb. And with that, guys, let's grab our cam. Damn it. I mean, I'll take Zidane. Burtz Dempsey. Nani, Rosiski, but Zidane will go in. I mean, what an icon draft this is so far. Nedved, unfortunately, doesn't fit anywhere into the team based on his position, but even on zero chem, he's still going to be like half decent. But the rest of this draft has been absolutely banging so far. Oh, my day. Vieira, Keen, Utelas, all good. Patrick Vieira, that is, that is a mad, mad start to this draft. I wonder if because they've given out draft, everyone gets a draft token for just logging on right now. Or at least I did on two different accounts. I don't know if everyone did, but I did. Maybe you've had to have played draft before or whatever. I wonder if they've like massively juiced drafts because they've given out draft tokens for free. Because this is a wild start. 91 Mascherano in at DM as well is very good because he's got the long ball pass plus, which I really like. We'll take Kyle Walker as the right back there. Any player is going to get minimum two chemistry now as well. Oh, my good Lord. Could have given me team of the season Bissek. That would have been nice. He would have been a decent one to actually have. We've got Laurent Blanc. What version? Or has he only got one version? Five star, three star. That's our fourth French icon, which is pretty mad. I'm going to go with Van Dijk on an anchor as well because he's basically an icon in this game anyway, isn't he? And then in at left back. Hey, the, oh my day. I'm going to take Robinson because he's a team of the season. But the fact that we've been given Golasso, Roberto Carlos and Centurion's Cole in here as well. This could have been one of the greatest icon drafts of all time. Robinson goes in at left back. He's got Sentinel as well, which is great for him because he's already got a lot of pace. Four star, four star. Great pace. With the Sentinel, great defending, great physical. 
good dribbling, good passing, good play styles as well. Lovely. And then in goal, was there, I don't think there was any live goalkeepers actually, was there? Oh, well, I'm not going to get out of the first round then. My bad. All right, EA, come on. More team of the seasons now, please. We need a centre mid for Nedved as well to get some chemistry. Take DeMarco, 88. Oh, actually. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Laurent Blanc at Cam. Who says no? Who says no? Give me some team of the seasons, man. I'll take Zanetti. He's got centre mid as an option as well, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to pop him in at right back over Kyle Walker. This is actually like one of the maddest drafts. Let me get the goalkeeper. Come on, EA. I, I mean, an icon goalkeeper would be absolute dreamland right now, wouldn't it? I'm very tempted to take the icon goalkeeper, but because we turned down the left back, I'm not going to. I'm going to take team of the team of the season. Sorry, team of the year, Allison. And that is very wild. Just yes, please, Saint Maximin team of the season. Let's go. He's surely a, he doesn't have cam. Damn, that's really unlucky. Baroud van Nistelrooy, get out of the team, pal. There we go. Go on, St. Max up front. Come on. The French connection, baby. Come on. Yep, we got Weaver 89. I'm actually, uh, I'm just going to do this. Because I'm going to sub these guys in anyway. So the fact that nobody else's chemistry is impacted by starting them at Cam and Striker, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. If, if other players lost chemistry because of them being there, I would start the icon and then sub them in. But that's not the case, so we're okay with that. What do we got here? Ooh, Raul 93. This is a huge, huge draft. Fair play. Yes, please. We've got Sheaf 89. In over Mascherano. Who lost chemistry? He's the one who doesn't get the full chemistry. I'm happy. I'm all right with that. Him on two chem is fine. We've actually got four team of the seasons in this draft. That's banging. Oh, my good lord. Bush Cascolazzo. Neymar was there as well. That's surely a 92 rated squad now. It is. I think the 127, guys, is going to become very, very, very easy. Oh, David Costa team of the season. I hate to say it. But Thierry Henry might have to leave the, leave the team. Nope, we lose four chemistry. We'll sub David Costa in. Actually, I want to start David Costa. We're going to do it like that. Oh, he doesn't have striker? What? Wild. Never mind. That is still a good amount of team of the season. It's nice to know that they're coming out straight away. Rather than sit, us sitting here having to draft like eight times to get one card. And we've also got one of the most like, like sought after ones as well. Five star, five star for some Maximin. Some absolutely banging stats. Some great play styles. Let's get into some gameplay and see how they play. Dub draft indeed, mate. It is a dub draft, that one. It's a very good one. The servers are down. I'm on. <laughs> There was an error creating game session. It might be like the worst time to actually play a game, mightn't it? Is Havertz a must do? Yeah, I actually think he's one of the best players in the team, isn't he? He's he's probably like one of the four like top top five players released today. But the fact that he's an SBC is uh, is quite bonkers to be fair. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted I called to I love EA. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me damn. in the commentary position is the former damn, 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 what a draft. midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. Stuart, what are your I do recognise this team name, today? guys. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to, you know, I love EA is probably a common one. I'm not going to say it, but... 
playing the ball forward and uh, gaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really pace. good game here. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Henri. Saint Max. Saint Max. Saint Max. Oh, a superb save. Should have just finessed it, really, shouldn't I? Nicely done by Rooney. Big verge, baby. Come on. And here's the starting lineup for the founders. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Oh, yeah. Virgil van Dijk plays oh, with Lolo. Costa! Golasso, baby. That game, second round. Here we go. Second round, here we go. Good luck. Yeah, game. game I, I, I expect gameplay to be pretty poor right now, to be fair. Not only is the server going to be overloaded with people just coming on to open packs, but it's also going to be overloaded with people coming on uh, to play champs as well, because champs opened like 20 minutes ago. Oh, what do we got? Team of the Allison, Team of the Ruben Dish. Okay, drafts are definitely juiced. Like, oh my days. Four Team of the Years. What kind of draft is that? What might we see today, Stuart? Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams. But you know what they say. Some interesting matchups. Good draft does two not mean good player. Play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? This Robinson honestly feels absolutely rapid. So the initial 11 like, for the home side. Rapid, Alisson rapid. Begins in goal. Cafu starts with Laurent Blanc in central defence. Oh, Andrea Pirlo starts that. alongside Zico in central midfield. Could be. Oh, he's run underneath the ball. Decent cross, but nobody in the vicinity. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Cuts it back. Costa again. Costa again. Oh! Well, the post getting in the I should have finessed it, shouldn't I? Well, nothing comes of it. An effective challenge. Ah, oh, it's a foul ref. Come on. Ruben Dish. Red card. Ah, oh, he's quit. He's just quit. This guy just quit. He didn't even let me score first. He just left. Second round, take two. I suppose for daily play, I'm already two out of three games. Uh, he had team of the year Ronaldo and quit. Yeah, mad, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. I don't even know what. Yeah, he had an insane draft. An insane draft to just quit like that. Hello, it's great to be with you. All right, next. And no problems at all. FC Imigres. As we get ready for this match. Van der Sar. Damn, team of the season there. The Only one team of the season for this guy, but Johan Cruyff as well. West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And with kick -off just we got to kick away, off. We really should be in for a magnificent I'll tell you what, guys. This uh, Costa feels very, very, very good. I know it's hot, like... I don't know. I don't know how easy it is for people to believe that after like I've played about seven in-game minutes with him. And here's the starting lineup for the founders. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays with Laurent Blanc in central defence. Patrick Vieira plays alongside Zinedine Zidane in central midfield. And the story in attack is hey, it's on. Right, hopefully now this guy's had a shot. Won't quit. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. Thierry Henry, well read to win possession back. Takers of space out wide for Spicy Boys. Ray. I need a centre back. That's no way. I thought I got a block in there. God damn it. 
Yeah, I'm actually going to have to focus. Foden. It needs an accurate cross. There's no way he's got that goal. That's mad. It like, it like, this is going to sound so weird, right? But it made my player, like, my control went weird and it, like, locked my player. Right, focus, focus, focus. Come on. This, this guy's had the ball two times and he's just run through my whole team. Chief. Now Zidane. Ben Sheaf. Probably a foul game, right? The timing was perfect. Ball one. What can he do with it now? It's a Larry. perfect challenge. Sam Maxima. Zanetti. Pause for Costa. And back with Henri. Real chance. No, I've got to score that, haven't I? That's got to be 2 1. Right there, that's got to be 2 1. He's driven in the corner. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Right? Oh dear. Bit there, shouldn't have done. Right? Sloppy in possession from the spicy boys. Under some pressure. Not a great pass. That's a smash. Oh, come off it, EA. How's that pass not connected? Close it. Now, Kreif. Well, a good tackle. Kreif with space to attack. A fine reading of the situation. The cross is on. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Kreif. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Vieira. Come on. Passing it through, and he's found a right, there's one back. Come on. St. Max with the goal. <laughs> nice bit of passing through the midfield there. I think that was an assist from Costa again, wasn't it? Well, not an assist again, but just I, I'm, I'm noticing him in game, like in a positive sense. Zanetti. Oh, great attacking play. Lost into the penalty area. Oh, Henri, that is poor from you, pal. No let up on the pressing front. Foden. Room to maneuver for Hadji. Nice from Sheik. Wait, what? I wasn't even controlling him. Well, no card handed out, but quite I wasn't even controlling him. I was controlling Sheaf and got the ball nicely there. God damn. No shortage of goals on this match. 3 1. Hey, this Cruyff is like wild. And here's Abby Lee. Abby Lee! That's a foul. And it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, the referee has decided to book him. I'd literally switched on to Sheaf there and, uh, yeah, got intercepted the ball nicely. And Van Dyke, after the fact, took the player out. Blocked it brilliantly. Now defenders having to cover up. Oh, could be. He's trying to create something. Well, disappointing end to the move. All to do again. That's a cracking ball from Costa. Might be a chance here. What a I can't, like, I don't know how Henri has not just taken that ball in his stride there. Oh, yeah. 
Phil Foden. Into the advanced position. Has someone to play it to. Closer. And it might be. And the goal kick it'll be. Oh, I should really be back into the game. <laughs> Not to like about that pass. That's poor, isn't it? Gifted in that. And the fourth official. Keep it in. Ah! Keep it in. Mate, you can just throw the fucking ball. Jesus Christ, man. It's about to be half time anyway, like. The whistle is sounded for... Oh. D disappointing in myself that, look, this guy's... Oh, wait, this guy's had seven shots. I thought this guy only had three shots. When did he have seven shots? That's surprising. Well, back in business here with the Spicy Boys very much in charge after the first 45. He read the situation defensively and did oh, it... Nice and slow this second half. I really... Uh, I thought I had more shots because I've actually been in twice now with uh, Henri, haven't I? And I haven't managed to uh, get a shot off, even though I've been, An alert intervention. even though I've been in behind. Cruyff. Now with Abby Lee. Johan Cruyff. A smart... That's why he's had seven shots. He keeps taking bad shots. Tremendously strong in the tackle. So deflection, and it will be a throw in. Well, good effective pressure. Andrew Robertson. Nope, it's not revenge the ball. Not revenge the ball. From Zanetti, nice. And the result is a throw in. Getting forward. Will he play it in? Closer. Christ. What a pop. So a throw in here. Loudra. Oh, you can. Closer. Good. Quite right. And the ball sailing over everyone in the centre. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. I don't know how to say it anymore. Like every, every, like this guy is getting crazy luck with these like deflections and passes and stuff. I don't want it now, babe. No, thank you. Read and executed. Oh my god, what is that? That's supposed to be flipped over. Oh, what a touch from St. Maxman. Oh my days, what a pass from St. Max. So fast. What the hell is that? EA, please, man. Foden. And it's with Hadji. Determined defending. Ninety-five Zidane can't make that driven pass into Henri. There is that. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Okay, but he can make that pass into Abili there. Okay. 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 Player on the way again. Well, they might be able to launch a counter attack. Have to pay attention defensively. But timely defending when it mattered. Just it's just, oh, it's just not where I've aimed it. Right, there's one back. Come on, 20 minutes to go. Let's go. We're in this. We're in this. Well, 
Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Cray. It would be in this if these tackles that I make actually stick. That's bollocks. That is absolute fucking bollocks. I've literally got two anticipate plus defenders there and I've made tackles while standing on his toes. And neither occasion do I get the ball back. Javier Zanetti. And now Henri. Henri. The save was a good one. Vieira. Okay, Patrick Vieira, team of the year, can't make that pass across the box here. Are you kidding? That's good refereeing. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Henri. And the keeper able to hold on to it. Ten minutes to go. Good use of advantage by the referee. Zidane. Now with Henri. No way. No way. They thwarted the opportunity. I'm disappointed to lose this one, guys. I'm really disappointed. Oh, that's a really good run. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. I would like to say the keepers kept them in this game. But this is a Dan has actually been the, the worst player on the field by some distance. Decisive in the tackle and the throw in here. Nope, see what I mean? All I've done there is pop, like throwing the ball to Robinson. Difficult to stop him. Zidane. Can he get one back? Oh, it's so sad. It's I'm so sad that I'm going to lose this one. We have created enough opportunities to win it. One last attack. Come on. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Opportunity here. Robinson. Oh, how has he got that block off? Henri, you've let me down again. Ref, don't blow it. Is it Dan? Whoa. Whoa. Fuck off! Sorry for swearing. How? Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost. Ow! What is that? Fair, fair enough. The the shot from me here, the shot, the opportunity from me here was probably bad, right? I could probably just square. Look, if I just pass that straight away. What? Well, once that ball gets into the box, one across and then one across, and that's it, right? Let's ban that JG on YouTube. Thanks, mods. Once I get a ball in here, look straight to Henri there. And that I'm, I'm like, even now, in once, in twice is a goal, right? Look at that. I've got, got a chance. I've got a chance there. Got a chance there. That's fine. Get the ball here. Green time the shot. He managed to get a block off. But then look here. Henri miscontrols that. Then Zidane miscontrols. This, like, these are like Ill high elite level players. How have I not got a chance to score a goal there? That's wild. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. I mean, it's a shame that one guy quit at nil-nil in the second round because we played three games there but didn't get to the semi-final. However, of these players here, Sheaf I didn't really notice. Robinson feels very, very, very tidy. He feels like a really good player. I mean, even if I did get that shot on target, might not have scored. He's got terrible shooting, but he feels like a really tidy player. St. Max was a bit, eh. I didn't really feel it. I didn't really like have any positive or negative thoughts towards him. But this guy right here, he felt crazy good. Five star, four star. Technical, maybe it's those dribbling stats. Maybe it's even the, the, the stamina and stuff. I don't know. But he felt absolutely unreal. I know he's super cheap. And I know people like would look at him and think, oh, why bother? Do me a favor. Go and give him a try. If you pack him, untradeable, just give him a try in one of your teams because I think people he's going to surprise people. But for today, 
that is going to be the end. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah, Costa was on Zero Chem too. I can't believe the end sequence. I've got, I, try, I try my best when in gameplay and draft to not moan or complain or whatever. I try my best in general to not moan or complain about it, but sometimes it's hard. But man, that gameplay was abysmal. Abysmal. Won't do an RT. Save it for tomorrow. Am I on PlayStation? I am on PlayStation, yeah. Oh, he wasn't talking to me. Ooh. Done about twenty objectives off. Um, here we do the daily play. What do we get from daily play? 78 by 2, and 80 by 2, and 80 by 5, and 81 by 2. That's not bad. And the daily play completion. The group reward being the team of the season guarantee pack is pretty legit, isn't it? Yeah, the stream's still going. I just ended the video. I did, wait, if I ever, ever if I ever end a stream like that, I'd be I'd be mad. I'm not going to go into champs now. No, I'm going to uh, rip some packs and stuff. Though, to be fair, I'll be right back.
something I said last year, guys. Yeah, I got pizza and what? Something I said last year that I think is true again this year now and has been verified by EA as true. And that's the team of the year, team of the season, I beg your pardon, is just an other promo now, isn't it? The pizza is not cut. That's fine. From an Italian. Don't play. Oh, yeah. I think you're wild if you're playing champs right now. I did not realize. I did not realize. It's almost nine o'clock already. Let me rip some pack. Um, well, I've got a duplicate though, haven't I? Oh, yeah. The port needs to go into the exchange. I'm going to do a few, uh, just a few 83 by 83 by 10s, guys. I know. I'll I'll be live tomorrow reasonably early for a whole day of it, man. All right, I'm two one down. Not looking for the oh dear, oh dear. It's a piece. It's nice. It's like proper Italian pizza, not like not like uh, Domino's or anything. First and last time I've ever said packs. Sorting dupes was horrible and so boring. Yeah, it, it, it can be a pain, sorting the duplicates. What's better, mostly lengthy or just lengthy? L uh, lengthy in terms of like the, the raw pace. So wait, three by 10 here. Give me the blue, give me the blue, England. Right back. Brent. Brent. And here's duplicate set number one to be dealt with. The, like yeah, I was I was gonna say the menus, man. That's another one of the reasons I, I don't even want to sit here opening packs right now. These menus are like wild, man. All my plans for the new ones. I think I'm gonna put rice in, and I'm gonna put uh, rice and um, board. I think is gonna be who I put in. Thanks, old school gamer man. Appreciate that. If I was to open a pack in the store, which one would I open? You've got 500k coins. Um, probably this one because it's tradable. Although you'd be very hard pressed to get something worthwhile. Do you know what, mate? Save them until a better pack comes out for coins. You'd hold the DM one. Oh, yeah, I mean, until I finish, like, some other Evos and stuff that I've got going on anyway, I have no intention to, to do anything. My my sole purpose tomorrow is going to be doing that Kai Havertz. French Mbappe. No, Mbappe's in form, isn't he? Damn, that is a woeful pack. Where's that an 84? Holy schmoly. Bappe's not in any form anymore, right? I, th I thought there was another mini release. So one of the leakers leaked the Team of the Week. Like there's another set of Team of the Week's impacts. Maybe, maybe there's not. But that's what that's what I saw. What I saw was wrong then. What I saw was wrong. Hmm. I think I'm going to have happy, happy to open 83 by 10s overall, but I am going to save my bigger packs for Premier League on Friday, next Friday. I will open exchange pack. Yes, here we go. Portugal. Look at this, David Costa, isn't it? Oh, 
I like this guy, just use him in draft. Nice. Team of the season number two acquired. Um, 83 by 10s were paying out all the specials earlier if you have them. Yeah, for me, I'm I'm more than happy to still grind exchange into player picks, player picks into fodder to like store for like other stuff coming. Hey, these menus are diabolical, diabolical. Okay, we'll, we'll call we'll call it there. We'll call it there. Before I do get out of here, though, guys, nope, it's Bundesliga next Friday. Nope, it's Premier League next Friday. Um. We have got the RA rewards. I had a good start already as well because Jetson Fernandes got 83 points. Don't know if I've had any uh, rando DMPs or anything already though. Le Jean Cour scored. Nice. Jackson Malekar I didn't put into a lineup. I wasn't sure he was going to start. He did well. Oh, that's not bad. Martinez got 38 points. Against Lazio, not awful. Sherpin didn't play was expected. Who's that? Oh, I didn't put Melo into a team. Because I was worried he was actually going to not... I was worried he wasn't going to start because he's been average last four games and got subbed off last game. And he's there on 78 points. That's, that's pain, isn't it? Hopefully he like, gets sent off or something. And it's 2 0 down to Cagliari. Wow. Chesney and Bremer. Ruining it. Yeri Mina with a penalty. Jesus Christ. Almost Mendy I didn't put in. League of the Kido, baby. I got a couple of rewards. Yeah, two tier five rares and then I think two boxes. I think two boxes. Project. Imagine offering 17 pence. One box. Damn. I must have dropped out of a box really, really late in the day. Here we get Rando. My, my, my. Rando. Oh, that's not bad. Ostrak. Two, two, two under 23s is quite nice. Rare premium box. Give me my box. Give me my box. Come on. Never mind. Never mind. Right, what do we get here then? Ostrich. Damn, a tier five that starts or plays at the very least. Ostrak. That's really not bad, is it? Damn, yeah, nice. An under 23 tier five that, that plays and then a rando. Yeah, the menus are bad right now. I'm, I'm going to have to be uh, off the game. This Harando guy. Jesus Christ. Hey, he's propped up by a couple of decisives, but looks like he's actually starting for Osasana. Another under 20. How is he five pounds for in season? That's mad, isn't it? Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for me for today. Appreciate you all chilling and watching. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. We've got a lot of grinding to do tomorrow. Hopefully the servers will be a bit better and we'll be able to uh, enjoy ourselves on it. But thanks for watching. 